Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome from the Noida Golf Course. We are here to witness the last and the final round of the Delhi NCR Open 2023. An action-packed 18 holes of golf lying ahead of us. The overnight leader, Shamim Khan, lead, hangs on to a very narrow one-shot margin over a very closed pack of six golfers trailing him. What remains to be seen is who walks away with that beautiful trophy at the end of the day. We're going live in a very short while from now. All the very best. Last and final round of the Delhi NCR Open 2023. The st starting time of 8.10 we have on the tee from Delhi Golf Club Pavan Kumar, from Chandigarh Abhijit Singh Chadda, and from Delhi Shitij Navet Kaul. With identical scores of four under each with, for Pavan and Abhijit, and Shitij with a one margin, one shot margin over the rest of the two players playing with him. At five under, uh, it's a it's a glorious day today. There's hardly any wind. It uh, looks like a very, very calm conditions compared to what we saw yesterday. So hopefully the scoring is going to be a little better today with the last few groups, and uh, the winds off the right a bit, hurting but very marginal, and the win the pins on the top right today. So it's playing its full length. Pawan comes from Delhi Golf Club. He's uh, he's uh, been there, and I've seen him probably two decades. Haven't seen him change anything. His technique remains one of the better ball strikers. Solid off the tee. Uh, Shitij meticulous as ever. Abhijit, well, he's probably one of our longer hitters. He's from Chandigarh. Uh, Shitij's father comes from the Navy, uh, so he has a services background. Going through the last minute, you know, checking out the yardages, pin positions. These last three pairings uh, of the day, being at four under, four, five, six, and seven, are within striking distance of the overnight leader, Shamim Khan, who enjoys a very narrow one-shot margin over uh, lead over um, Gaurav Pratap Singh and a two-shot margin over uh, Sachin Bisoya, Sudhi Sharma and Hani Bisoya. An absolutely action-packed golf ahead of us for the day. Beautiful day. Remains to be seen. Who's going to walk away with that beautiful trophy at the end of 18 holes? The prize money of this tournament has seen a huge jump over the last few years. Packing in at uh, 1 crore and the winner walking away with a hefty check of 15 lakh uh, at the end of uh, 4 rounds of golf today. You know, uh, coming back to yesterday, yesteryears, we were our total prize money in this event. I remember being five lakhs, maybe 
two decades ago when we just turned pro uh, digging. So you know, playing they're playing for substantially more money. The game is you know the scoring averages have dropped drastically over the last uh, half decade or so. This uh, Noida Golf Course probably one of the ven few venues on the PGTI where it does seep to go over par. Otherwise, PGTI the the cut generally is at even par or minus one around that score generally. But Noida Golf Course. Uh, it doesn't look uh, like a daunting task, but it has its own way of uh, showing its claws. The, the, the greens are actually uh, more challenging than uh, people actually take them to be. Yes, definitely. Uh, Noida Golf Course is no pushover. And uh, it does have... Uh, the best of uh, all sorts of holes. We have some long holes here. We have some short ones. The par threes definitely are something to um, take notice of. None of these par threes, like we spoke about it yesterday as well, is is um, anything less than 170, 175 yards. The 16th being the longest at 241 yards. Four four threes. Uh, um, would you reckon, Amit, walking away with four threes uh, on every um, in every round here? You 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 definitely pick a shot or two over the field. Yeah, on number three, definitely because you know it's uh, the design of the green is such that you know if you're on the wrong side of the green of the green. Are you talking about number three? Yeah, I'm talking about number three. It's 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 a it's a tough two part actually because uh, there's a there's a bound in the middle which you know throws the ball in uh, in you know different directions it depends on where you come from. So, yeah, number three is uh, probably, I would say, uh, the more difficult of the, of the four. And uh, simply by the design of the green. I'd have to disagree with you there a little, Amit. Um, by the sheer length of it, I think number 16 plays a little tougher than the rest um, of the threes this week. Um, I mean, if you look at the, the average scoring yesterday... There are quite a number of uh, bogeys, even in the last uh, few pairings of the day. Um, although there was a birdie by this young man, uh, Shitij uh, Navid Kohli, yesterday on 16. And I think I also saw one more birdie there, but that's the extent of it. But uh, definitely, um, the 16, the 3rd, 5th and the 10th, they're all um, daunting par threes. Like all Delhi golf course... Uh uh, players pawn very very straight off the tee, so um, he uh, he actually backs his uh, tee to green uh, tee to green uh, play a lot. Seems to be happy. Picks up the tee. Next, uh, we have Abhijit Singh Chadda from Chandigarh. You know, he has a ball speed of almost 185, 190, which is incredible. You know, it's uh, he hits it really far. Definitely, the lanky uh, professional from Chandigarh, Abhijit Singh Chadda, hits it a mile. He's got a couple of wins under his belt. His recent one being in Pune. I remember that week was absolutely, um, the rain came down really heavy. The course was playing tough and it was playing his entire length. And uh, Abhijit walked away with a trophy, with the trophy, um, with almost a margin of five to six shots, if I remember, if, if my memory serves me right. He just walked away with it. Likes to move it left to right of the tee. Next on the tee, we have Shitish Navid Kaul, coming from a service background, father having served in the Indian Navy, has been playing in the NCR. Very meticulous, deliberate young man, goes about his process very thoroughly. Yeah, it's he's amazing how he, you know, uh, he's always in control of him his uh, 
movements and uh, emotions doesn't show anything ever smiling for the amateurs to understand that is something like a pre shot routine he just tried to enact what he actually wants to do on the golf ball yeah from what from the looks of it he's uh was just kind of working on a little more forearm rotation in his back swing and through the hitting zone as well our last year's order of merit champion manu gandas sizing up his uh, putt on hole number 1 yeah this is a this is a tricky pin it's uh there's uh there's a slope on the right of the pin which you know actually it it looks kind of flat but the ball turns more than it uh than you would actually expect it to manu has been working on his uh, fitness as well as his flexibility i was talking to him the other day and uh, he says he's been spending more time with his yoga routines and hitting the gym on a very regular basis father uh, being a yoga teacher and a swim swimming coach yeah you know like they say you know healthy mind and a healthy body surprisingly i've never seen manu frown ever whether he makes a birdie or a bogey and i cannot forget the the win that he i think it was win number 4 for him in at at the royal calcutta golf club uh, or win number 5 of the year at uh, royal calcutta golf club where he came head to head with anirban lehri just did not come under any kind of pressure yeah that's that was really good uh, that was a really good part you know it's uh, getting the speed right first up in the in the morning uh, sets the ball rolling in the right direction greens look to be a, a little bit faster than they were yesterday and now we have harinder gupta He must have got a good read of uh, manus pat in the early movers uh, angad chima has birdied number 1 followed by two pars over second and third and one under for the day moves in at two under for the tournament tied 14th sanid bishnoi from dlf starting with a bang as well birding first and second out of the first three holes two under for the day and three under for the championship moves into tied 11th position yeah yeah just Harinder didn't uh, got fox by that. Expected to move right, and it didn't. So, like uh, we were talking about yesterday, it's 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 uh, a player's best guess because the grain and the slope sometimes contradict each other. So then it's a it's a toss up on which one you want to give more uh, weightage. Kapil Kumar has been knocking on the door on a very regular basis. This man knows how to go deep, but somehow that first victory has been evading him. Let's see if he can pull that rabbit out of the hat today. Yeah. Making no mistake, draining yeah. that 10 footer in for a birdie, yes. starting with a bang. Kapil Kumar should move up to four under and in tied eighth position. It's always good to have a hole a good putt on the first hole. Manu, by virtue of uh, winning the Order of Merit last year, has full playing privileges on the DP World Tour. That's one of the privileges which came with the very recent tie-up between DP World Tour, the PGA Tour. and the pgti the order of merit champion on the pgti would get automatically automatic exemption onto the dp world tour 
with full playing privileges and i'm sure manu would like to make the most of it yeah he had he won a staggering six tournaments yes which has never been done before the 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 other the one that comes closest to him was ashok kumar i think with five one year uh, i remember that was back in 2005 yeah yeah in in our nascent years yeah Two thousand six, I think that was the first year of the incorporation of PGTI. That's Pawan Kumar hitting his search, second shot from the center of the fairway, number one. Uh, no wonder he picked up the tee right away after his tee shot. That ball found the middle of the fairway. Yeah, he likes to work it right to left. So this is probably a pin that he uh, might not get close to. we'll just have to wait and see where that ball of pavan kumar landed up pavan playing alongside abhijit singh chadda and shitij navid call so uh, shitij is in in one uh, between one of those mounds which are on the left side of the fairway in the first cut good angle to approach that flag from would you say yeah actually yeah, pre, uh, out of both the sides that would be a easy, better side to come in today uh, but he's got to move have put a draw on this one because i think he's he needs to start it uh, the starting line from where he's in, he is is about 20 yards right of the green so he needs to move this uh, put a big right to left move on this ball one last check which way the wind is blowing by the caddy and a change of club and probably from that uh, lie it's it's quite easy to uh, move it right to left also with three victories under his belt in the last 3 years having uh, broken through at uh, Pune Golf Club back in 2019 when he was a 17 year old and the youngest winner on the PGTI Shitij Navid Call with his second yeah got a bit of a bit of a flyer there so just uh, pounded over the green um not the best place to hit your chip from it's um there's a lot of uh, trees in Noida golf course and there's very little undergrowth so you always end up with a uh, with a tight lie in in the trees karan pratap singh on tee number 1 to go next young man from faidabad had to undergo a meniscus surgery in his knee owing to an injury had to sit out and go through rehab for the better half of the of last year's season by the looks of it standing with standing for a draw looks Stay like he started it on line not sure if it's moving enough Karan Pratap Singh sitting pretty at 5 under par 3 shots adrift of the leader and a multiple winner over the years Hani Bisoya fearless young man from Delhi from DLF golf course yeah he's actually first cousin with Kapil Kumar who's in a, in a, a group and a, uh, two groups ahead Kapil's father used to be a pro with us uh on to august ram and honey is his first cousin so is sachin sachin is uh, is also a cousin of uh, kapil uh, and then they have another brother called ajay we have four of them on on the tour comes from a golfing family yeah sudhi sharma led the field after the first and the second round did not have a very good outing yesterday recorded a 74 to over 
dropping two strokes behind uh, the new leader Shamim Khan he'd be looking to make some amends today looks happy with that tee shot likes to move it right to left um very nice um, simple elegant golf swing hopefully he can uh, repeat his first day's magic today it's all about finding that magic uh, early in the round and putting pressure on the players uh, thing up behind them this is the penultimate group which will be followed by the last pairing of the day Sachin Basoya, Gaurav Pratap Singh and Shamim Khan. So it's, that's Pawan on the hitting his uh, third shot from from the right side of the green uh, on number 1. Short Have side short sided himself a bit. Most of these boys who play in Delhi Golf Club they've got a good touch around the greens. I'm sure he won't be ha very happy with that. Yeah, you know, it was he had to put himself in jail out there, so I guess um, he just took a, he took the more percentage play. He could have um, he didn't want to get too cute with it. Also, if I'm not wrong, Amit, um, in those trees, uh, it's pretty, pretty much no grass in there, right? It's a very yeah. hard pan kind of lie, yes. so he could not have flopped it and landed it soft on the green, so he had to roll it up. Yeah, and must have missed his mark by a, a foot or two because there's a mound out there, so he must have tried to hit it into the mound and he, and he flew it. So as a result, he got a little extra roll on it. We'll have to see what Shitij has uh, has come up against here. So he's overshot that green by good about 30 yards. And he's, he's lying uh, just in front of the 60 box. So um, must be like 30 yards over the, uh, over the green here. Still contemplating whether to go over the trees or to roll it from between them. Looks like he's going to go the... Uh, going to probably uh, yeah, bump just, and roll. Yeah. Looks like a deal off the club. Clearly means he has a clear line to the to the hole. Yeah, at least he's got uh, his lie looks to be okay. So good contact won't be a problem. Yeah, pretty good from there. Great effort. And uh, I saw Abhijit's ball lying close to the, uh, close to flag. I'm not sure whether it's he's there in three or or four, but uh, quite close. So the rules of golf have changed over the over the years. Earlier, you know, uh, half a decade ago, you were not allowed to touch your line with your putter unless you were repairing a pitch mat. But, but now. You're allowed to repair any, uh, you know, uh, any any sort of indentation or spike marks, or uh, any sort of uh, uh, grass that might be out of place. You, you're allowed to tap it down now, regardless of whether it lies on your line of play, or which I think is fair because you know as the as the players play the, the earlier groups don't find anything on the greens and the latter groups used to find much more right with the with the spike marks and the scruff marks definitely as as the day progresses the the greens uh, spike up a little bit it's only fair to come up with this oh that's uh, that's you see he, he change of rule yeah he played his percentage he backed himself with his putter and uh, yeah, that's a really good four from where he was. Yeah, it's a brilliant start for Pavan Kumar. With that early birdie, he should move into 5-under and tied for 6th position for the championship. A final pairing of the day. Loosening up. In your frames is Sachin Basoya, who had an early win in the season, winning the first tournament of the 23 calendar. 
He was also a bronze medalist uh, in the in the team event at the national games, and all he's actually he did a small stint with the home guards. I just I, got to know. I had no clue about that. This one should move a bit from left, from his left to right. Shetaj for birdie. So the final two pairings of the day have two local professionals in there. Yeah. Gaurav Pratap in the final pairing and Sudhish Sharma in the one ahead. And Shitaj could only settle down with a five. Not sure if, it, if, if that was a misread or a misread or a you know lack of pace. We'll just have to wait and see if Abhijit is putting for an eagle or a birdie. I'm, I would assume he's putting for a birdie. Very deliberate himself, keeps to himself. Abhiji Chadda, making no mistakes. Yeah, that one actually had a, uh, a bit of line on it from left to right. It's, it's like I said earlier, it's a little bit uh, very close to a slope. Hitting from the right side of the fairway, having found the first cut, we'll probably have to cater for those trees in front of him, is Hani Basoya. With those Sunday tiger colors. Yeah, you know, the whole golfing community in the world, of the world knows what red and black stands for now. Seems to be aiming to the left half of that fairway, trying to cut that ball in. Yeah, I got it started on line, saw it moving right also. Not sure where it's finished up. Next to go would be Karan Pratap Singh. Looks like a fairway metal in his hands. Yeah, you know, it's playing its full length today with uh, the pin being 34 yards in. So... Playing more like you can see the leaves, uh, Amit. Uh, there's hardly any wind at the moment. Yeah. This is this is one of the spin positions which you need to you know play to the center of the green and take your chances with your. With your with your putter, it's uh, it's inviting you to go for it, but uh, yeah. but you know better chances of you making a three slash four if you just play to the center of the screen. And so he likes to move it right to left. So this would be one pin that he sh you know he should just play to the center. Manu on the second. It looks like Sudhir found the, the middle center left of the green on number one. This group needs, uh, if they want to have any chance of uh, winning this title today, needs, needs a good start today. Three threes would uh, a four and two threes would be a really good start. That'd be a dream start, isn't it? Our overnight leader Shamim Khan, of course, needs no in introduction. He's got 15 wins under his belt 
including one in Sur, uh, at, at the Sura Nepal Masters. His most recent win was at the Kensville Open in 2019. He would be looking to up that number. Yeah, he's had a few uh, health issues over the last couple of years with after COVID and hasn't been, uh, you know, been able to get his form back. But I spoke to him yesterday and he was, he sounded like he was getting his game back and enjoying it. Gaurav likes to work it left to right off the tee. I'm sure Gaurav Pratap Singh would be full of confidence today after that shaky start of the back nine, closing in with that eagle on number 14. Played the par fives really good yesterday in five, in five under par. He'd be looking to break that jinx of no victories over the last 12 or 13 years. His last one coming in 2009 right here at Noida Golf Course. Seems to like that. Yeah. And now our leader, Shamim Khan. Yeah, you know, Shamim's demeanor does not show whether he's excited. Uh, ang nothing. There's no expression in his uh, demeanor ever. Very, very collected person. Plays within his means. Yeah. Quickly picks up the tee and walks. One of the faster and quicker players on the tour. Doesn't like to waste any time. Yeah, it's always been the same. Uh, he has never changed over the last so many years that I've seen him. Yes. There's going to be a lot of home uh, home cost support for Gaurav. He's Both for Gaurav and Sudhir, I'd say, being the local favorites. Gaurav being more uh, uh, regular here. Sudhir plays um, here and at Greater Noida. So... Karan Pratap, having missed his approach on the par 5 first, a little to the right, would be looking to... Yeah, it's, you know, this, this pin position is one that you actually don't even look at with a long, with a long eye and it's just play to the center because from the center it's a really easy uphill part. And like you can see the marking on your screen of 40, that's actually our tournament director telling the players that that's the length of the green. So in case they want to know with their pin sheet, how much green more do they have behind the flags, they can calculate. And now the look at what Karan did just a while ago. Maybe he was trying to pitch it a little short of where it actually landed. Yeah, but you know, in the uh, under the trees, you generally get a, get very uh, tight lies. So, tapping in for his birdie is Sudhir Sharma, popularly known as Sodi amongst his friends. Yeah, so that's a good start for him. That birdie on number one will move Sudhir into tight for second position for the championship at seven under par. I'm sure he would like to keep that momentum going and set an early pace for the final round here at Noida Golf Course. So that was Honey chipping from the left of the green on number one. So he's got about 10 feet left for his birdie. We saw him in the trees. I, I guess he, his ball didn't cut as much as he wanted it to.
I've seen uh, Karan growing up uh, last six, seven years, very hardworking, very meticulous. A little heavy-handed there. Maybe uh, from the looks he wanted to hold that chip. Nice and aggressive. So Karan has uh, four feet left for his par. This is Honey sizing up his birdie putt. Remember, he was in the trees on the right, and he hit a. He tried to cut it out from there. Didn't cut enough. Found the left of the green, and then he chipped it up to this place. Looks like team colors, both caddy and player. Yeah, I was going Black to say and red. I was going to say the same thing. Team Tiger Woods supporting the big cat at the Masters this week. I guess he misread that one. I love his uh, poise when he, he stands over a putt. It looks like he looks really stable, honey. Oh, you know, kind of gives you the impression that he's in control of his uh, his technique. Karan has his work cut out to save par on the first. Yeah. He hasn't been in absolute command, po commanding position in the middle of the fairway. Like you can see, the caddy is telling him where he wants, he wants him to start the ball, and you are not allowed to touch the green uh, when you when you do that. So you can. That's why his finger was actually a bit that up. that rule has now changed. You can touch your line of play then, because. Because if you can tap tap down your line of play, you can definitely touch your line of play. Okay, I guess the caddy doesn't know it yet. No, but it doesn't really matter yeah. much. Most of the players nowadays, uh, you must have noticed, have a line drawn across the ball. Helps them align better. The way they want the ball to start. That'd be a expensive miss for Curran. Yeah, he looked like he started a bit right of where he was uh, aligned. Just caught the lip and lipped out. Like I said, many a uh, slip between the cup and the lip. Yeah, that felt more like a double bogey to him. From, where, from where he was. After where he was yeah. uh, with his tee shot. Yeah, it's 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 not it's it's probably one of the shorter par fives that the the players will play on tour at 525, 30 yards. So generally, they're expecting to make birdie there. And more than the length, I think uh, it's a very straightforward uh, par five with not much trouble uh, on your tee, tee shot, as compared to the others where you have to cater for that water hazard on the eighth on the left, and then another one on the seventeenth, and one on the 14th as well. So it, I'd say it's one of the easier par fives that, yeah. to get yeah, a four it's, on. It's a very straightforward hole. It's, you know, there's, no, uh, there's no twist to it. In your frames, going, f going for the green with his second shot is Gaurav Pratap Singh. Yeah. With his uh, shaping of the shot, this flag is pretty accessible. Yeah, but you know, this is the flag you need to aim more on the, to the center of the green. And uh, I think in the last few pairings, we've seen at least three to four players miss that green on the right. Uh, short siding themselves, you know. Uh, you know, like we were talking yesterday, uh, just one good shot a hole can make get, get you birdie. A bunch of average shots and then one good As shot. As displayed by Pawan Kumar in the group ahead. Yeah. Played with percentage golf and went to the middle of the green, hold a 20-footer and walked away with the four. Sometimes, you know, this is for you uh, club golfers who are watching. Sometimes when you're in trouble, it's, it's okay to just uh, take your chance with your putter. And 
uh, eliminate the double bogeys out uh, from your card. So you, when you, when you saw that Pawan Kum, uh, Kumar chip and he chipped it past the hole, that was percentage play. He was taking his chance with his putter, which and it, it worked out perfectly for him. He held the putt also. Don't compound your mistakes. Yes. And you don't need to hit a chip uh, given to make a you know a chip and putt. You can hold a long putt also to make chip and putt. The scorecard is never going to ask you what club you hit. It's only going to ask you what score you made. So the the pins on the top left on uh, Hole on number two. two, 21 in. It's uh, this green. This green is uh, has a lot of uh, elevation to it. It's uh, at least eight to ten feet above ground level. But it's a very accessible flag. Would you not say that, Amit? Yeah, but there's a spine that's like a semicircular spine that runs through the green. So this ball has got a lot of right to left movement on it. And he's going to ride. He's going to go up the slope, and then it's going to come down and feed left on its way down. Yes, most definitely it will. But I think with the second shot that these guys are coming in with, it's a very accessible flag. Nothing more than a pitching wedge. Even if you lay up uh, off the tee with a three or a four iron. Yeah, after a four iron, it's, you've got a you've got 100, 120 yards left to, to this. Depends on where the pin is, so it's 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 a it's a hole. If you play strategically, you will make birdie slash uh, par, and if you get a little aggressive, you can bring bogey into play. Most of the greens in at at the Noida Golf Course are slightly elevated. If you miss them, you are always chipping up, which I think is a really good uh, design because you know it it. It gives starts making uh, the players give emph emphasis to the chipping as well. Otherwise, when the greens are really flat, you know, mostly most club golfers take out their putter and just roll it on. This, but Noida golf course, you need to actually learn, get your chipping correct, sorted out. A very short while ago, Giriraj Singh Karka from uh, Jaipur, started the day with a bang, making an eagle on the first hole, moving into tied 11th position and 3 under for the championship. Giriraj is mentored by our tournament leader Shamim Khan. Leaving it a tad bit short, we'll tap that in for a 4, Abhijit Singh Chadda. On hole number two, with a solid start, making a birdie on the first, going on to par the second. Looks like uh, Pawan is in close on number two is uh, for birdie as well. So this would be like a the perfect start for him if he can get a four on number one and a three on number two. And he's wearing the Masters green also. This is Masters Week on the PGA Tour. Uh, for viewers who don't know, the Augusta Masters is one of the golf's four majors, and it's played in Augusta, Georgia. It was it's a, it's an iconic golf course. Used to be an orchard first. There's a three-way tie on uh, at at the Masters after the first day with Victor Hovland, Brooks Kepka, and John Rahm, all three coming in with identical 65s. Oh, that was a really good read because the the slope and the grain were actually opposing each other there. Chitish to tap in for a four. Looks like uh, Honey Besoya went with the driver on that tee shot. 
Uh, honey never backs out. Just yeah. a short while ago. That was really delicately played. You know, Gaurav has really good touch around the greens. Looks like a putting match on the first hole with those three six-footers in the frame at the moment. Yes. The greens uh, look a bit faster than yesterday, just from the, the, the color of them. The way that ball behaved, I think the greens are a little quicker. So the, the final group uh, have surrounded the first hole from actually the, the more preferred side to hit your putt from. All three of them riding high on confidence. Sachin having broken through the ranks with his debut win just this February, the very first tournament of the season in Calcutta. Shamim uh, is an old stalwart on this golf course. He's always performed well here. Looks like Karan went with the driver as well on hole number two. I'd say he'd, he'd like to land that somewhere in the middle of the green and work its way up that slope right to left. Yeah. He would look forward to make amends to that uh, first hole bogey with the birdie here. I'd say he's in a decent position for a birdie effort. Mm -hmm. Sachin Basoya to go first. Narrowly misses that. Yeah. Will remain at six under at the start of the day after hole number one. Looks like he misread that a bit. Among the early ones to put pressure, Amardeep Malik has made birdie on hole number two, moving in at three under for the championship and tied 10th position. With a bunch of players. Yeah. Shamim sizing up his putt. Looks like this might have a bit of left to right on it. Yeah, that was pretty straight actually. Making no mistakes, putting the metal, the pedal to the metal, starting with an early birdie on the first hole. Shamim Khan would be looking to extend that lead by two shots and nine under for the championship. Gaurav Pratap still to go, making sure he does not let go of that. Keeps uh, Shamim in his sights. Narrow margin. Yep, walks that in. Yeah. That looked uh, that looked like he was more more confident of his stroke today than when he's with his start yesterday. With that part, Gaurav Pratap will move into sole second position on his own at eight under to be one behind the overnight leader Shamim Khan, who has also gone on to birdie hole number one and moved on to minus nine for the championship. So the with his birdie part on number two from the right. Didn't quite read that speed very well. So he will have to settle for a four. Abhijit Singh Chadda, I'm told, did not have 
luck riding on his side and recorded a double bogey, bogey six on hole number two after that brilliant start on with a birdie on the first. And the the pin on number three is like in a, in a bowl which is surrounded by f uh, three mounds and uh, to, on the back right of the green. So Abhijit having uh, missed this ball in the in the right bunker. It's not the it's not the worst place. It's it's a it's quite a straightforward bunker shot from there. Probably uh, the the wrong place to miss this would be on, to the left today because uh, there's a mound which comes which you can't see on the screen right now, and it it gets the pin is becomes very inaccessible. Yeah, it just lacked a bit of pace. Current will have to settle with the four on the second. After that brilliant drive just short of the green. Failing into Cashin on the early mistake he made on hole number one. Drops down to tied ninth and four under for the championship. Honey for his birdie. Looks like he pushed that a bit. First couple of holes, especially the first and the second, are, uh, I'd say, um, very possible, present very possible birdie opportunities and definitely sets, sets the pace uh, or the ball rolling in favor of the player. Yeah. Honey failing to uh, capitalize on the first and the second. Let's see what he has to offer over the next 16 holes. Yeah, I guess, you know, today is going to be a test of patience amongst these uh, last four or five groups. Yeah. Sudhir Sharma, after that brilliant birdie on the first, is left with a two-footer to save his power on the second. Making no mistakes. Yeah, a good start by Sudhir, you know, a good two part number one from 50 feet, uh, holes is two foot, holes is, now you can see that the three mounds is, you can see Pawan aiming, looking way right because he needs this, and there's one on the left, there's two on the left, one on the right. Coming out of the bunker, Abhijit Singh Chadda on hole number three, had a bit of a misfortune on number two. Couldn't do anything better than a six. Yeah. You yeah. won't be very happy with that. Yeah, might have thought it would release a bit more. And the fringe killed the speed. And this is a really delicate chip. He needs to. Uh, This needs to come out really soft from his club face. The second Basoya in the fray today, in tied 19th position at the moment for the championship at man minus one, is Ajay Basoya, who is uh, first cousins with Sachin, having made an eagle on hole number 14 and a birdie on 15, has had a brilliant start to his round, three under after six. You could see that that Pawan had played it, with, uh, put, had put his hands behind at a dress to ensure the club, uh, the ball comes out softer. That's actually a pretty good touch from there. Three eagles have been recorded so far in the day: Naman Davar on number 14, Ajay Bisoya in 14, and Giriraj Singh Karka just a short while ago on hole number one. I think out of the, the the first three holes are like a perfect match of uh, we have a par five, a par four, and a par three. Shiraj on the left side of the green on number three, so you'll have to contend with that mound which is in the middle of the green.
a long birdie attempt and makes the most of it. Yeah, there won't be very many uh, twos on number three today. So that's like making up at least at least a shot and a half on the field. Brilliant birdie by Shitij. Early move. Moving on to minus six and tied in fourth position for the championship. Perfect pace. Abhijit uh, he's got about 15, 18 feet left for his par. Uh, he was in the right greenside bunker after his tee shot. After the brilliant start, uh, Abhijit, having birdied the first hole, came up with some trouble on the second, making a six, and is left with this to save par on hole number three. This should be a big morale boost for him if he holds this. Yeah, this is just stop the bleeding. Yeah, that's brilliant. Well done. Absolutely brilliant. You can see him breathe a sigh of relief after that. I could literally see it on his face. Yeah, good acceleration, kept his uh, posture. Pavan Kumar discussing with his caddy. Some some of the golfers like to choose a spot between the hole and the and where the ball lies that they want to roll over. So it actually makes this putt uh, shorter than it is. So if you can hit your intermediate target, you'll get your eventual target. I think it's a very good exercise to pick a spot in the in the middle and try and hit the ball over that. Makes you go through your process better and also it helps in your visualization i'd have to agree with you on that amit you suddenly shift your focus from trying to hold the putt to trying to make that ball go over that particular spot the putt going in the hole or not is the result of what you do on on the on the ball right yeah You know, visualization is such a huge factor in determining the result of a shot. So this whole process, you know, adds that one more step of visualization to your process. Coming on to hole number two, I think uh, driver seems to be the favorite club of the tee. Yeah, it looks like Gaurav this. looks like ha having gone with the driver is left with an up and down from 30, 35 feet. Yeah, it's uh, it's. 30, 35 yards it looks like apart. everybody's hitting most most of the uh, golfers are hitting driver today. Looks like there's no wind today, so they can you know they feel they can take their chances. Yeah. So the uh, on number three, today it's playing 202 yards. So it's uh, it's anything between a six for the longer hitters and five for the not so long hitters off the tee. And that leaves him that to to, uh, to contend with that mound which is in the middle of the f of the green. Gaurav won't be happy with that result. He actually packs himself and his short game. Stop press. We have Sunny Bishnoi making moves on the, on, on the final day of this daily NCR Open. The young man from DLF Golf Course having birdied four out of the first seven holes but with birdies on one, two, four and six. Moves into five under for the championship and four under for the day. Yeah, that's, uh, that's solid golf.
Shamim using the chunk and run bunker shot to roll it up to, clo to the pin. Chunk and run uh, is when you take a little extra sand and you know, and the ball releases more on the green. Yeah. So that's it. That that is percentage play. Yeah, it's absolutely pin high. He likes to pretty much in the area where uh, way short while ago we saw Shitij Navid call. Yeah. And you know he Honey likes to move it right to left and that that pin on the right is not probably the most accessible pin for him. Sachin on number two for birdie. This one moves quite a bit from right to left, doesn't it, Amit? Yeah, the whole grain and the slope both are right to left on this green. Shamim enjoying that one one shot cushion over Gaurav Pratap and two over Sudhi Sharma at the moment. Yeah, and, uh, looks like uh, Shamim was in a little bit of trouble. He was in the green side bunker on on. Uh, on this hole. That's current uh, just a little maybe half a club too much. Shamim sizing up his uh, and it's Gaurav first with his birdie part. Gaurav uh, I think I saw Shamim in the right bunker just a short while ago. Yes, yeah, so whatever that is I think it's for pa. And you know, this we could have a, a joint lead. Um, you know, never know if Gaurav holds this, and uh, he might just be, a, be the sole leader after this hole. If anybody knows this golf course like the back of his palm, it is this young man in your frames, ladies and gentlemen, Gaurav Pratap Singh. Yeah. Didn't have the very best of outings yesterday. Made amends coming in with an eagle on the 14th and a birdie on the 17th. He would like to take advantage of the position that he's in. He's completely zoned in on this one. Definitely breaks far more than what you see. Yeah. If we saw in the group before this also, uh, most of them missing it on the lower side. Yeah, always a good golf swing to watch, Sudhir. Good rhythm, good balance, good angles in his uh, technique. Yeah, if that ball had flown one more yard and pitched on the green, he would have got uh, at least five, six more yards of release on it. Honey hits it a little higher uh, than Sudhir. Uh, uh, I quite like the way Honey hits it, uh, yeah. high and soft, will sit on any kind of green, no matter how hard the base is. Yep, absolutely. It's a clear advantage to somebody who hits it high. You know the when, as far as strokes gain, the the top what actually separates the top twenty from the the other eighty on the in the top hundred is the proximity to the hole from one seventy five to two hundred yards, and that comes from being able to land it softly. Yeah, trajectory control. Yeah. Early mistake by Shamim. Leads to we'll have bogey. to settle with the five. Quickly, advantage lost on after that birdie on the first. We'll move down to eight under for the championship and in tied lead with Gaurav after the second hole of the last day at the Delhi NCR Open 2023 at Nordic Golf Course. So, such an uh Must have got a read from the, his playing companions. It's pretty much a straightforward part, isn't it? 
might break a bit to the you see how straight it went and the others broke on the so you know it's uh, the grain has an effect on the ball which you can't see on the screen Karan needs uh, soft hands on this one yep this needs to land just on with soft hands Yeah, he just missed his mark by a foot or so. Tough one to um, judge, actually. Yeah, you know, it's it's not it's 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 not bad. It's you know, he still has a pretty decent um, uh, four or five foot of power. Quick change of guard on top uh, with that birdie and par start. Uh, Gaurav Pratap moves into tied uh, tied lead at eight under par for the championship, alongside Shamim Khan. who started with the birdie but quickly gave it away on the second with the bogey so this one is really uh, slow in the first half and then it's downhill after the mound so it's a two pace part tough one to judge a bit of left to right in it also yeah so once it gets over that mound you see the ball gathers speed good effort uh, got the speed correct definitely good effort we'll have that tap in to save par on the third and a very solid start for sudhir going one under through the first three to be in third position solely by himself at 7 under par So honey from uh, what looks like 20 feet shit it made the same part a while ago so it, it has a little bit of right to left on it Oh and and a, a little bit of left to right at the end I doubt if anybody knows these greens any better than you do Amit having played your uh, majority of your golf uh, over the last 30 years on this golf course Well you know this the the greens in the tournaments play a bit different from our normal day to day because the greens get faster when as they get faster the the effect of the grain gets uh, gets diminished so so what we play on a normal day the ball we, we generally know how much the ball is going to weigh and we actually have to play have to play less line but still you know you you know better than yes, most of the visitors yeah, yes uh, i would say yeah i have grown up on these greens good save by karan So deal with a little bit of a knee shaker, uh, two and a half, three feet. With the way he's uh, putted uh, the first two days, I'd say that'd be a gimme for him. Got his attention though. Never uh, take anything too lightly. A three on on number three is is never a bad score. Yeah, it's a small little target uh, with a with a five iron in your hand, with those mounts to uh, contemplate. So we with a with our tournament leader, uh, joint leader, Gaurav Pratap Singh. He likes to move it left to right, so this is a hole that he might want to hit it. Uh, Looks like he started move. online. That yeah. Time. be more aggressive with yeah, nice place to be yeah maybe just a little hint of extra fade on it so just perfect angle to come in from quite a straight forward uh, putt from there right looks like he'll he'll probably use a putter is just off the green no more than 6 inches 
Uh, knowing Gaurav, uh, he likes to chip. Yeah. He, 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 he really backs himself on his chipping. Fair enough. Whatever works for you and whatever you're comfortable with. Especially this goes out to the club members and amateur golfers. You don't have to whip out a sand wedge or a lob wedge the moment you miss the green. It is what club you're comfortable with to get that ball as close as possible is the club to select. And you know, uh, probably the, that choice is made once you come to the ball and see the lie. The lie kind of dictates, don't you think? The lie dictates the shot. Definitely, the, the, the lie dictates for sure, but uh, I've seen a lot of amateurs, uh, uh, you know, e even when they have a conversation amongst themselves, they go, oh, you know, when I miss the green, I like to chip with a sandwich. A bit unlucky for Sachin, he hit the downslope of that mound. If he had just, if it was, if it had flown about two yards less, he would have hit the upslope and would have killed it faster. But then again, Namit, uh, golf is not a game of perfect, right? Golf, yep. is, golf is a game of misses, and all you have to do is improve the quality of your misses. Yeah, and you know, Shamim is one person that is, is unraffled by, you know, these small hitches here and there. He's going to keep playing his game. Very cool, cool calm, collected... Uh, Demeanor, uh, Shamim Khan. Yeah, maybe one more yard. If we got some release, if we, if we landed on the green. I'm sure he did, didn't want to go with a club that would make it to the flag. He wants to keep it below the flag. Yeah, that uh, anywhere past the flag is not a place you want to be on this with this pin position. Walking alongside uh, this final pairing is Gaurav Pratap's father in that white hat, a retired colonel from the Indian Army. And is, is the one uh, responsible for having initiated Gaurav uh, into the game of golf? Probably uh, plays as much golf as Gaurav does. He's, he's, he's very regular with his golf. Very ardent and diehard golfer himself, uh, Colonel R.P. Singh. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's one of the reasons a lot of youngsters play golf is when their fathers or somebody in their family is a golfer. And, you know, they have that, they get that, you know, get, they get some, someone to play with, they get encouragement, both. Easier introduction to the sport. Yeah. Good camera work by our cameraman. And like you, you could see, it hit the downslope of the mound, and that's why he got that extra release. Just, just taking the cue from what you said um, just a short while ago, I remember when I started golf, um, or before I started golf, I was, I always had this impression of the sport being an old man's game, and um, so Jyoti, Jyoti Randhawa and I were benchmates in class 11, and he's the one who introduced me to the sport, and I was amazed when he said I play golf, and I said, well, it's an old man's sport. Why would you play golf? Why would you not rather go and play something? So shit it tidying up on number four. Four is uh, is pins on the back left today, so it's it's again surrounded by mounds. So our tournament director has uh, put a challenge in front of our groups today with the pin positions. Trying to take full advantage of the new rules, going with the backstop with that flag, leaving the flag in. Pavan Kumar. I, it would make, actually make me nervous if I had to put the flag in a very small part. I think it's just a personal preference. Some like to see the flag in, and some like to see it out. Yeah, that was actually a testing two-footer. And as you can see, we're we playing preferred lie today also. Gaurav, uh... If there's one tough chip on this golf course today, it's this one right here where Sachin finds himself trying to choose what kind of shot to go with, whether to roll it up or to fly it, flop it up there. Oh, Looks like a lobbage in his hand. Five, five feet, six feet from here would be brilliant, actually. Five feet would be winning a lottery. Yeah. 
It looks like he's hitting a bump and run. He's going to land it short of the green. And he's making sure that he's using that mound as a backstop. You can see how he's used the mound as the backstop. That's why he played it out to the right so that, you know, he the if he hits it a little bit too hard, the mound would st will, will stop it. Sachin coming with a par par start on the first two holes. And this is another example of, you know, playing percentage. Uh, he's backing himself with his putter. Shamim for birdie. Has an outside chance of holding it. He's good about 30, 35 feet from the hole. A two putt, uh, a two putt would be great from here. Yeah, it just looked like he came out of the putt. Don't see Shamim doing that very often. Probably got some grass... Uh, Stuck between the putter and the ball. There could be a change of fortunes here. Like uh, Shamim having left himself some work to do on hole number three. Has a 10 or a 12 footer to save par. Whereas Gaurav Pratap has just missed this green on the right and has one of the easier chips coming in. Yeah. And it's 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 got a, it's uphill right to left. Yeah, Making no mistakes with that one. Mm -hmm. He's left with a tap in to save power and stay at night. Possibly a change of guard. Right on top. That's uh, this is hole number four. And that's that's brilliant because that was Karan Pratap from the left rough. That's called using the slopes to your advantage. Yeah, he he he, he pitched it at exactly the right spot, just short of the mound, in front of the pin, and using the mound to kill this uh, kill the speed. Like Amit said earlier, the par threes are the holes where you win or lose a tournament on this golf course. We have some spectators running around at the back. Scurrying from left to right and right to left. To save his par from behind the green. Sachin Bisoya. This would be a brilliant par if he gets in. Oh, this. I was actually rooting for him to hold that part because, you know, he had just played the, the right percentage shot. He just got unlucky with that uh, tee shot. Uh, yeah. Was struck brilliantly. Just flew a couple of yards too long. And, you know, uh, Sachin uh, play, likes to move the ball right to left and the pin being on the right and you all know that uh, Diggy that when you try to hit a draw the ball has a little more release on the green compared to a fade right because the top pin uh, uh, top spin that you impart on the ball yeah and uh, that being number one and then then getting that break of landing it uh, the ball landing on the down slope so it was compounded an important part early in the day for Shamim Khan this one to stay tied for the lead Discussing with his caddy, Gullu. Gullu looks supremely confident about his line reading. On He's a local location. here, isn't he? Yeah. He, he. There was no hesitation in him in pointing out the line. Let's see if he can get the star on where his caddy had to, has told him. Yeah, it started there. Brilliant hands. Shamim yeah, Khan, ladies and gentlemen. Save. Saves that par on the third. We'll stay in tide for the lead at eight under par alongside Gaurav Pratap Singh. It's a beautiful sunny day here at the final round of the Delhi NCR Open 23 in its fifth edition. Very benign conditions, very little wind. Greens look smoother and faster today. And that really good putt again uh, by Shamim for par. 
fear the hat from Patna Aman Raj having bogeyed the third hole dropped a couple of spots quickly regained with two birdies on four and six and you can see that was honey for uh, for his birdie on number four and the mound which uh, Karan used to kill the speed of the ball honey was on the wrong side of it so another update from the leaderboard making early moves is Badal Hussain from Bangladesh having picked up three birdies on the in the first six holes three under for the day and five under for the championship leapfrogging into tied sixth position alongside Sanhit Bishnoi from DLF also at minus five and four under for the day Sudhir for birdie probably the easiest putt you would get from 15 feet on this hole straight up the hill maybe slightly from his right this would be a good one to hold a very makeable yeah a bit disappointed with himself leaving it short so Sudhi walking away with a par Karan buried that hole Karan has made uh, amends for that bogey on the first moving back to minus five to where he started the day and this is uh, the fifth hole par three Shitaj now we call the player of Bani Park. Quickly moved away from that one. Didn't really go through his process. He'd be a little dejected with that. It's a tight pin on number five today. It's just. Uh just over the bunker and only four from the right bring that out of bounds into play it's playing 173 yards definitely um, anything within the range of uh, a hard eight or an easy seven for most of the players yes it's nicely tucked away into that small little corner on the right yeah it almost for the players it must be looking like it's probably not on the green just four paces in front from the right We just have to wait and see if that is for a birdie or a par for Pawan. Good part. Makes no mistake. Looks like uh, brought a smile to his face, so I'm presuming it's uh, either par or birdie. Well, Noida Golf Course uh, is uh, is. A venue which was uh, which has been used by the professional tour for a very long time. It was first designed by the Indian Army and uh, in the late 80s by the engineering battalion of the Indian Army, and then later on it, it was it now is run and managed by the Noida Authority. I think it was designed by the BEG, the Bengal um, Sappers, right? Yeah, that's what I've. It's either Bengal, Bengal or, engineering or, group. Or, or Madras, not sure, but yes, definitely by the engineering department of, uh, of the Indian Army. So just across the road from the golf course is uh, where uh, most uh, retired army officers have their accommodation. Like you said, this is one of the most uh, one one of the busiest courses in the country. The entire retired population of uh, officers living uh, all around the golf course uh, throng here. Um, almost every single morning 
Yeah. Yeah, Honey likes to move it right to left and that pin, you know, not, not the most comfortable pin for him. Would you say he's just missed it uh, j just off the green on the right? I couldn't really see where it finished. I guess he n didn't miss it because it's finished pin high. So maybe just didn't uh, draw as much as he wanted it to. So he's probably just off the green. Yeah, it's pin high on the right. Couldn't really see where it came to end. So... Uh, Another local, uh, Amardeep Malik, having won twice on this golf course, making early moves with birdies on hole number two and five, moving into minus four for the championship and two under for the day, and in tied 10th position at the moment. With the Yardish playing 173 today, so most players are going to be between clubs, with, between a soft seven and a hard eight. So. That bunker comes into play then. You know. The the bunker you'll see we we we'll, like this group just saw two balls out of the three in the bunker. Definitely not an easy up and down from uh, just short of that bunker on, on. You're talking about hole number five, right? Yeah, the the short right bunker. Yeah, not very easy to uh, make an up and down from there because it's, it's pretty much uh, six to eight feet deep, and with the flag being so yeah, so close to you. This is hole number seven. With his putter in his hand, having found the green, Amardeep Malik. Another front flag. Even this is one of one of the tighter flags on the screen. Yes, you know, especially when you're uh, uh, you have a wedge, but you want to have an uphill putt. Yeah, so you want to leave but it short, but you don't want to leave it too too far yeah, short. So <laughs> once you once you hit the shot, you have to make sure that the, the club that you choose and you make good, really uh, uh, good contact with it. So and it's it pretty it. quick coming uh, from, from, from back to front. Yes. Where uh, Amardi finds himself. I mean, I'd be happier with a 10-footer uphill rather than a 6 a downhill. Yes. So, you know, it's, it's and, and you can see like the, the, the edges are like uh, overturned saucers. So if it's just short, it's going to, you know, kill, it's going to kill on the slope. Playing alongside uh, Badal Hussain, there was Amardeep Malik and Abhijit, sorry, uh, beg your pardon. Uh, that's Giriraj Singh Kharka. Just a short while ago. So Dee Sharma has found the bunker on hole number five. I believe he's coming off a bogey on number four. Didn't get, uh, got too much sand, I guess. Looked like he didn't really commit to that one. Just coming down. Looked like he de-accelerated a bit on that. Trying to hit it close and not yeah, too far. Maybe try, you know, the softer shot, you, you uh, that's the mistake we tend to make, is we decelerate de de on it. So two players out of this pairing found the And that's probably bunker. what Sudhir wanted to do, keep the acceleration on it, what Karan just showed us. Looks like Karan was a little closer to the hole. He could be a little more aggressive. There, that swing says it all. Acceleration through impact, imparting more spin. So when you put more spin, you can be a little more aggressive and you don't have to land it uh, shoot. This is the second last pairing of the day, ladies and gentlemen. And all three players seem to have missed the green here on the short par 3 fifth. Trying to save his par, Hani Bisoya. Yeah, he pitched it perfect. That one has a chance of going in. Yep. Like uh, uh, the yardage of uh, for these pros is 173 today, and 
that makes it uh, a hole which they're between clubs so looks like uh, two of them were uh, trying to hit a softer shot and found the bunker Giriraj Singh Karka on hole number 17 started with the eagle on the first he would like to hold this I beg your pardon that is hole number 7 I'd say that's a good effort. Yeah. A little Mubara would have done the deal. I had a word with him and I, you know, asked him uh, wait, because um, I haven't, I'm not known of, I don't know him from my playing days. And he says, uh, that he's been on tour for eight years and Shamim is his mentor. Being on the tour for eight years is news to me, Amit. So I'm not the only one being surprised here. Yeah? So Amar uh, is probably one of the better putters on on tour. He's had a solid start in tight tenth position and minus four for the championship. Two under for the day. This would help him jump to tight fifth position if he goes on to make that birdie on number seven. Current tidying up on number five. Oh, he's used the whole hole. I'd say that one turned almost 270 degrees before. Yeah, he used found the, the, bottom of the, the left door, the back door, and then the right door also. Amardeep Malik. Settle down, settle down. That, uh, that, that, that's one of the faster putts uh, on the golf course on number seven because there's a drastic slope from, back, uh, from the center of the green to the front. Not sure what Sudhir made, but uh, Honey and Karan both have made paths paths on this hole. To save his par from just outside three feet, Amadeep Malik on hole number seven with a very solid blemish-free card so far. You can't miss him on the golf course today. That's that's a really bright pink. Spot Malik from the distance contest is on. Making no mistakes. He was telling us on the on our show yesterday how how he he's, he's been working on keeping his left wrist, um, you know, flatter for, through impact. Yeah, flatter through impact, and you could see that on his putting stroke there. The final pairing of the day seems to be a little out of position at the point.
This is steel. And this is an idea. So what happens when we join them? Something marvelous. Like cars that are lighter, more fuel efficient, yet safer. Thanks to high-perform automotive steel, which lowers CO2 emission and makes this world a better place. Tomorrow is shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel. We also make tomorrow. This is steel and this is an idea. So what happens when we join them? Something iconic. Like the Bandra Worli Sea Link, an engineering marvel that connects two parts of a thriving city where Tata Steel's state-of-the-art LRPC strands have played a role. Inserted in the concrete deck and anchored to support the vision of new India. Tomorrow is shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel, we also make tomorrow. This is steel and this is an idea. What happens when we join them? Something magnificent. Like the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, three times the height of the Eiffel Tower. An iconic landmark where Tata Steel's Comfloor 80 composite floor decking has played a part, making it a triumph of human inspiration. Tomorrow shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel, we also make tomorrow. This is steel and this is an idea. So what happens when we join them? Something marvelous, like cars that are lighter, more fuel efficient, yet safer. Thanks to high-perform automotive steel, which lowers CO2 emission and makes this world a better place. Tomorrow is shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel, we also make tomorrow. This is steel and this is an idea. So what happens when we join them? Something iconic. Like the Bandra Worli Sea Link, an engineering marvel that connects two parts of a thriving city where Tata Steel's state-of-the-art LRPC strands have played a role. Inserted in the concrete deck and anchored to support the vision of new India. Tomorrow is shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel, we also make tomorrow. This is steel and this is an idea. What happens when we join them? Something magnificent. Like the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, three times the height of the Eiffel Tower. An iconic landmark where Tata Steel's Comfloor 80 composite floor decking has played a part, making it a triumph of human inspiration. Tomorrow shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel, we also make tomorrow. This is steel and this is an idea. So what happens when we join them? Something marvelous, like cars that are lighter, more fuel efficient, yet safer. Thanks to high-perform automotive steel, which lowers CO2 emission and makes this world a better place. Tomorrow is shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel, we also make tomorrow. Is, helps to bring the temperatures down. There, that's the tree we were just talking about. Someone has finished really close to the hole. I don't know if that Karan, is Sudhir. That was, that was Karan. Just a short while ago, yeah. Karan. Just Sudhir clipped the tree on, the, on its way down, I think. Also, the new rules allow you to use the uh, range finder to gauge the distance. Helps in speeding up play. As long as the rangefinder does not give you any kind of slope. Perfect side to come in from, from the right side of the fairway to this left pin position. And he's not even, his ball doesn't need to come over the tree. It's yeah, coming from the angle, I think he takes the tree out of play.
seems happy pulling out the putter. We'll just have to wait and see where Hani Besoya's ball ended up on hole number six, coming off with a solid start of five pars back to back. Sudhir, so after a good start, is, is uh, backtracking a bit. I was just talking to uh, Hani uh, this morning and uh, we were discussing his long dry spell which went without any birdies for major half of his tournament round yesterday. Having birdied the first, the next one came on hole number 17. That was uh, Shamim from the bunker. We, f we see a lot of these, a lot of the balls in the bunker on number 5 today. Short siding. Amongst early movers, finding themselves in tied fourth position, Badal Hussain from Bangladesh and Sanit Bishnoi. With three under for the day and four under for Sanit respectively. So, uh, this is how you can actually use uh, the rules to your benefit since we are uh, playing lift and place. Uh, you can use as long as you don't bring the ball closer to the hole. So you can see Gaurav has brought it almost on the green. So uh, he can use his putter from there. And you don't need to measure it with the, the club that you're... Uh, the, the lift and place is one club length, not closer to the hole. And it, you don't need to play with the, the club that you've used to measure. Basically, you can take out the longest club in your in your bag and measure the distance not closer to the hole. Lift clean in place is in effect. Owing to the wet conditions starting on day number one. I'm sure Gaurav would be happy with that tap-in on number five where the others have found a little bit of trouble. Yeah, it's always good to... Our joint leader for the championship at minus eight and one under after the first five holes of the last day. Gaurav Pratap Singh. With the look of determination on his face. This is Angad Chima, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like hole number nine to me. Amit, you... Yeah. Yes, it's uh, number nine, top left pin. Playing alongside Rashid Khan. Such in for par on number five. Seeing... A lot of bogeys on number five today. Even uh, even Shamim was in the bunker. He's hit a really good bunker shot to a good part of four feet. I remember back in the day, my coach, uh, Ken Llewellyn from Australia, <coughs> always used to say, going into the final round, if you find yourself in a tough position, just hit to the middle of the greens and but to the corners, walk away with pars, and you'll definitely end up dropping a couple of birdies. Yeah, probably uh, that would be the mantra for the day. Yeah, with these pins today, I've never. It's uh, Karan Patap for that birdie after that splendid approach on hole number six. It looks like uh, our tournament director has. Uh, with, with that birdie, Karan would move into tight third position alongside Hani Basoya at minus six. No, oh, that's, you know, after that bogey on number one, that's... A uh, bit of a shaky start for Karan, but he's, he's yeah, regained... He's, uh, he's pulled up his socks, yes. His composure with two birdies on four and six. That's uh, Sanit on your screen. The big mover today, he's four under after eight. 
Uh, we still need to find out what he did on hole number seven and eight. Early moves by the young Sanit Bishnoi, having gone four under through the first six, wielding a hot putter on the course today, making no mistakes. We'll just have to wait and see if that was for a birdie or a par. Yeah. And uh, we can see a lot of Tiger Woods uh, red and blacks on, on number nine. In the screen, in the distance, is uh, C. Muniapa. C. Muniapa playing alongside Aman Raj from Patna, the Fear the Hat, and Pranav Madikar from Pune. There you have it on your screens. Tied for the lead is Gaurav Pratap Singh, the local lad, alongside Shamim Khan, the hardened Shamim Khan who's had a couple of victories under his belt on this golf course earlier. Gaurav Pratap's breakthrough victory back in 2009 was also recorded on Noida Golf Course. He finds himself in familiar hunting grounds. Sanit Bishnoi moves up to minus six and tied in fourth position. He's, he looks like he's birdied either seven or eight. Possibly number eight. Pranav from the left rough on number nine. This is... Uh, Probably the one place you don't want to drive on that top left pin. Number nine is a pretty straight hole, but with that pin, it almost becomes a dog leg because uh, it's in the top left corner of the green and like uh, I'd we had mentioned yesterday there are three tiers to number nine to the number nine green and it's on the topmost tier which is actually the narrowest of all three the scores have just been updated uh, ladies and gentlemen and the early mover with four under over the front nine, Sandit Bishnoi has gone on to make three pars from seven, eight, and nine, moving into minus five and tied fifth position alongside Badal Hussain from Bangladesh. Sudhir Sharma, having dropped another shot on hole number six, I beg your pardon, hole number five, has also moved down to tied fifth position at minus five. So this is uh, probably the toughest pin position on number nine. I remember looking at it from the fairway, it looks like it is probably off the green somewhere. Yeah. Since you can't uh, see the bottom of, bottom of the flag. Yeah, because the, the last tier is actually downhill. It's so so it, it's sloping from front to back. Yeah. And the from last the, from the, the middle of the green towards the back of the green. That's correct. So uh, on number seven. This should be a quick putt coming from uh, from the angle that he's. Yeah, and a lot of right to left on it also. Two putt would be good from here. Just giving it giving it a bit of a go. finds himself three feet past the hole with a little bit of work cut out to save that par on hole number seven Shitish Navid call yeah. 
Yeah, all in all a good effort from there. Our final pairing of the day after their tee shots on hole number six. Shameen. Being further away from the hole, Shamim will have a go at it first. So it looks like, uh, like he's about 170, 80 yards away. He would definitely want to avoid the left side of that green. He w I'm assuming he would Shameen. aim good about 20, 25 feet, 30 feet right of the hole. Yeah, Shamim with his experience won't even be looking at that pin. He must have drawn a new pin for himself in the center of the green, left center of the green. Pavan for that birdie on number seven. Brilliant effort, but still, the moment the ball gets to the hole, it just picks up pace and pretty much uh, went three feet past. He actually took on that pin. A, a little, uh, came up uh, half a club short. I think he got lucky and just stayed right of that uh, tree. Just about, had it been a hint left, would definitely have found the branches. Yep. Abhijit's putt uh, looks uh, a little more doable. Just had to, just has to uh, start that online. And yeah, and he's got a little bit of a read from uh, his playing partner. Sachin Bissoya with not more than a pitching wedge. He would like to take this flag on with that right to left movement on his ball flight. Yeah. Brilliant it's shot. Another birdie opportunity coming up for Sachin. Yes, like this pin position was drawn for him. After having dropped a stroke on the par 3 fifth, would like to make amends. Abhijit Singh Chadha. Oh, that one burnt the cup. Yeah, he th I think he thought he had it. That was Gaurav. What a superb call shot on hole yeah. number six by Gaurav. Yeah, it was a joint covering, leader. It was covering the flag all the way. It must have looked really good to him in the air. You'd say he'd he would be just outside six feet from where he'd be coming on on that birdie attempt? Yeah, uh, six, Our joint max, max seven, not more. Pawan with the tested left for par on number seven. Like I said earlier, um, the spin position looks very easy when you're looking at it from the fairway, but um, the moment you get past the hole, becomes a you start thinking you start scratching your head both on how much short, you hit it both the short par fours two and seven both have testing greens absolutely yeah, making well, no mistakes tidying up hole number seven Pavan can, Kumar he can be the sigh of relief these are the these are your knee shakers Trusting your line and then making a good stroke after that. You think the the number eight in front of Gaurav is, has been put the other way around? Looks like the fat part of the eight was above the small part of the eight. And they look like two fat ladies, one on top of the other on the small part. To save his power, Shitij. Yeah, that was solid. Like the pace he put on that ball. I like his demeanor, he's unfazed. And that bounce in his walk. There could be a 
change of guard here on hole number six with God of lying not more than six feet away for a birdie and then now tried lead no, attitude and demeanor on the golf course uh, has a huge role to play with the mindset of a, of a player you know, you know under these uh, in, under these conditions of pressure it's uh, it's important to remain ca calm and collected and uh, your body language kind of starts giving it away and shit it looks really collected today Sachin looked at that hole a little tad bit too early missing it on the lower side Karan Pratap Singh yeah. with back to back brilliant approach shots on number 6 and 7 yeah his playing companion has uh, hit it very close there too we we'll just have to s wait and see who that ball belongs to for the outright lead on hole number 6 with this birdie opportunity Gaurav Pratap Singh this would be a big morale booster yeah well done if anybody knows these greens well it's this man bit of a fist pump there yeah you can see the, the confidence in this walk and the lead has once again changed hands in this tournament Gaurav Pratap at minus nine for the championship two under for the day after the first six hole holes of the final round of the Delhi NCR Open 23 Shamim Khan would have to settle with the power on the sixth and would drop to one stroke behind Gaurav Pratap so this group has the, the pin, pin surrounded it looks uh, like they're playing a different hole than the group before this they've definitely peppered this one yeah yeah the, the furthest is five feet and you must be saying okay uh, I'm here at five feet I'm the furthest you know like three threes for the group would be probably unique right for would, any hole today would definitely be unique with these spin positions especially on a par four yeah and it'll, it'll be a you know especially for Sudhir he's he made a few bogeys now but he was huge uh, for him to hold this part and get some momentum in the right direction looks like uh, Karan is furthest studying the contours looking at the intended line of play from all sides so sizing up his part Karan it looks like it's uh, got a little bit of left to right borrow on it the slope definitely is left to right not sure about the grain and it's quick you know as uh, all you viewers must have seen all balls coming from this side have generally finished three three feet past the hole that's the smooth rhythm of uh, Shamim that hasn't changed in years Yes, it's exactly the same hands that I've seen. That smooth rhythm. Yeah, brilliant. Good speed. Karan Pratap Singh coming off two back to back birdies on number six and seven. Would leapfrog into third position on his own in tied seventh. I beg your pardon, at minus seven, minus seven for the championship and minus two for the day. We'll just have to wait and see if Hani Basoya holds that as well and remains tied in third position alongside playing partner Karan Pratap Singh
Okay. So basically, the first person on the green gets 50 seconds to hit his putt, and the, the players after that have 40 seconds. So that's the pace of play that we uh, professionals maintain on tour. I think that's pretty much on every shot. I mean, not just just on the green. 50 seconds. The if you are if if it's your turn to go first, and 40 for the guy who's coming in second. Uh, it's just just ran out of steam on that one. Yeah, probably the the wrong side to miss it from. Also, is that is what. Uh, Honey is left with a three footer for a birdie on number seven and to remain in tight third position. Not that happy. would be the first red number on his card, having gone through the first six with straight pars, making no mistakes. So these palm must be feeling like a bogey now, but you know. If you've seen this telecast earlier, number seven has not been, been uh, has been a tough pin to get close to. But uh, seeing your playing companions make uh, threes and you missing a short putt for a three feels like a bogey sometimes. That's Manu with uh, with I'm not sure on hole number eight. Our latest export to the DP Gandas, having won the Order of Merit last year, gets an automatic exemption and full playing privileges on the European Tour. Playing alongside uh, Kapil Kumar. Kapil is uh, Hani's first cousin. Tidying up, number eight. Coming up, up coming up, a tad short on number seven was uh, Sachin. No, not a, not the worst place to be. Uh, straight uphill part. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome For the viewers who have just joined us, of the uh, Delhi NCR Open 2023. We, have we are witnessing the last and final round uh, of the Delhi the NCR Open 23 here at the beautiful Noida Golf Course. Pristine conditions. The sun is out. Also won 12 times on the, PGTI. Played the, the lead Tokyo Olympics, right? from the overnight leader has just changed hands uh, on hole number six with the local favorite Gaurav Pratap Singh uh, you know, storming into the lead with a birdie. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the fifth edition of the Delhi NCR Open 2023. Oh, we that was really unlucky. Here, he was a foot away from being uh, five, six feet for birdie. 2021, 22 order of merit. 20 and 21. Yeah. And, and 21. probably the only pot bunker in Noida Golf Course is the, the left bunker on number Played seven. Beautifully positioned yeah. in the fairway. Oh, that nice. After that tee yeah. shot yeah. is yeah. our yeah. overnight leader, yeah. Shamim Khan. I can imagine he would be looking to make amends Olympic, uh, village for that yeah. bogey. On hole number yeah. two. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So then, you know, uh, Shamim and uh, Gaurav are very different characters. Gaurav wears his emotions on his sleeve, and Shamim is uh, unflustered most of the time. Back in the day, uh, the stalwarts of uh, professional golf, uh, Ben Hogan. They say never used to give away his emotions. He was absolutely poker-faced. Having played alongside him for a very long time, Sam Snead finally came up and said he knew when Ben Hogan was under pressure. And he said whenever Ben went under pressure, he would take one, one too many puffs of his cigarette. He says that's the only time he gave, gave away that he was under any kind of pressure. Otherwise, throughout the round, he was absolutely poker-faced. Yeah, I guess, you know, uh, golf, uh, a, a golfer uh, generally plays his character on the golf course. You know, if you are, uh, uh, you know, emotional about uh, things, you will show it on the golf course. If you are, if you are 
calm and or unfazed you, whatever you are in uh, as a person comes out on the golf course another one of those characters i think was um, one of the veterans from now a veteran from uh, south korea kang buk soon yeah he was the, the way he walked was exactly the way he swung the club he would just aim on aim on to the to the course very Ernie slow Els. and Ernie Els. absolutely yeah. Ernie Els is another Ernie great Els example Ernie Els is uh, you know I saw him wear a pair of shoes once he took about half, a minute to put on yeah, one I mean, shoe you know so and he swung the club exactly the way he yeah. walked an amazing rhythm as compared to somebody like uh, Jose Maria Olathabal who was really quick yeah. fast paced Nicky Price Nicky Price yeah. another major winner British Open champion Jose Maria Holatabel having won the Augusta Masters back in the day. Yeah, so you know, there's so many different characters on the golf course, and uh, and all of them, you know, uh, national champion 2014 played their character, yeah. and, and also uh, a couple of top tens from what I know on the PGA. So, yeah. so, so got of so got his work cut out here. He's just uh, it's been a long journey for you. Hit short sided himself on number consistent. seven, maybe. So, Tell us what put away from being uh, working on your game these quite days close to keep your to get yourself better so uh, or stay more competitive as, as he's waiting said. for some kind of a lot of learning um, I'm not sure what far, it is far from where i want to be but again full for how so I've been possibly he's stuck in the on, on the face uh, and has not made it my, made its way down to the sand more, probably uh, yeah probably uh, some loose impediments that he's more equipped today to waiting for the golf courses and the referee the to amount of skill that i have uh, with him to determine whether yeah. he can remove them or not um, and i think i'm just all, taking all the credit to the work that i'm assuming that over time with we don't have team. a view of so so what are you where his ball is lying at the moment yeah it 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 hit the bank and it trickled in uh, and and the the face of the bunker has growth of grass on it so, no but it has made it to the bunker he is in the bunker not sure what he was waiting for is rehearsing it with yeah brilliant brilliant it looked like he didn't have the best of lies there from the way he uh, rehearsed his uh, back swing so he didn't really wait for a ruling there did he i'm not sure why he was waiting also because you know generally bunkers you don't get really from any hole uh, i i wasn't under i mean i didn't really know where exactly his ball finished This is not a bad place to be, Amit. Uh, Sachin Bisoya has yeah. a straightforward, um, maybe a hint off the right. Yeah, he can he can be aggressive with this one. Yeah, it just bobbled him on him a bit coming out of the first cut. Yeah, it just jumped on him. The moment it left, it hit his part of face. So Shamim with a 12 footer to tie this to tie this tournament up with a realistic birdie opportunity looking into his face uh, Shamim Khan after having briefly given up given away the lead he would like to make um, the most of it very calm cool character sizing uh, you can see it in his face he's uh, oh that was he that really was, thought he had it yeah for the longest time you could see it in his eyes it, 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 they lit up the moment he hit the, he hit the putt Anyway, um 
that's par for Shamim and Gaurav uh, with a little bit of a tester for par. Should move a hint from the left? Yeah, definitely. Maybe, may, maybe a little more than just a hint? You know, probably from where he was, this would be, this is brilliant because not only it's, 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 he's at it quite close, but he's left himself one of the easier putts on the screen. Some, uh, looks like it might be something like a left edge. Another early mover, Badal Hussain, who we just spoke about a short while ago, having made four birdies in the first eight holes, has just recorded a bogey on the ninth from uh, being in tied, uh, being in fifth sole position has just dropped into minus five for the championship and tied fifth alongside Sanit Bishnoi, Sunir, Sharma. So after inspecting this four-footer, got up ready to hit it. This one here could be uh, another Moral booster for right from the middle of the fairway. I think he's going to get this one. Making no mistakes. Yeah, that's 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 a huge, uh, uh, you know. I think pace was really important on that one. Yeah, moment. He he he's, he just made birdie. He's got a tester for par. That's going to keep him the momentum going. In 2023. We have with us here, Odian Mane. He's uh, won the 2021-22 order of merit. 20 and 21, yeah. 2021, and he's also won 12 times on the PGTI. Played the Tokyo Olympics, right? Yeah. Wow, that must have been something. Right? Yeah. yeah, it was uh, definitely life-changing. I can imagine, you know, at the you know, Olympic uh, village, and yep. athletes, and then the golf course. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. So then, you know, uh, Everybody has a story. I'm sure you have yours, and we would love to know more about you. Uh, my story is quite simple. Uh, my brother and my dad uh, played every weekend in KGA in Bangalore, and uh, they come back home with all these stories of how they made birdies and pars, and I just want to be a part of those stories. And um, my, it was a way for my dad to spend time with his two sons, uh, because most of the time he was very busy working, uh, and we were busy with school, so you know, by the time we got back home, we had to do homework and things. And by the time he got back home, we were already asleep. So golf became a way to spend time with family, and uh, not only play golf but enjoy the golf club and have a few meals and you know, just uh, just have fun. Yeah, really. have fun. Yeah, yeah, of course. We have so many kids, hopefully, watching the show also. And what would you tell them, especially the young ones, just starting out, eight, nine, ten years old? Hmm. What would you tell them? What one piece of advice you would give? Well, them? I have two or three. Uh, one is, uh, like we mentioned earlier, have fun while you're playing the game. Uh, competition can be fun. Golf can be fun. And I think uh, to take away the fun from a game like this is just criminal. Uh, to be fun then yes uh, so I think once you're competitive with them then yes it, it makes sense to turn pro because you won't be struggling absolutely you'll probably win a couple of times in your first year whatever win is to you uh, like it's suppose a win to me up at 5 30 journaling going to the gym that's a huge win for me I've already set my day or started my day on such a high note it's tough for it to go back from there absolutely uh, so I think just just have those tiny wins every day that's it. I completely agree with you. It was a pleasure, my friend. Thank you. Thank yeah, you so all much. the best. Play Thank well. you very much. Yeah. Pleasure talking Thank to you. you. Same here.
That was Amit talking to Udyan Mane just a short while ago. We're back uh, in the middle of the action. This is hole number nine. And um, Manu Gandas seems to have, I um, beg your pardon, this is hole number 12. Manu Gandas seems to have hold a long one. Yeah, that was a really nice chat with uh, Udyan. He's a brilliant uh, young guy. It's a uh, good head on his shoulders. Pavan on number eight. Yeah, he's been uh, very solid over these small ones today. Shitaj, uh, two, two and a half, three feet on number eight. I'm assuming that would be for a birdie. Yeah, but you know, it's... The eight's it's playing pretty much uh, simple, straightforward with almost nil wind. The flag on the eighth placed right over the bunker on the right side of the green. 14 from the front and five from the right. Well done. You know, uh, these three footers are ones that you um, test you the most, especially in the in the back nine, when you're in, in the fray of winning a tournament. Waiting for the group ahead to clear the fairway, the last pairing of the of the day. That's Honey from the fairway on number eight. Yeah. You missed it exactly in the right place there on the left side. Straightforward chip coming up. The eight is got a, uh, the way the pin is today, it's, it's, it's very tight. So you don't want to miss it in that front uh, bunker. It's going to be, it's, uh, it's going to be very difficult to get it close. Karan from the center of the fairway as well. It looks like a fairway metal or a hybrid. You can see that he's bringing it in a bit from left to right. Again, uh, left himself a very uh, in a very good spot for for an up and down. So these seems to be in the right rough. Some of the flags you go for and some of them you don't. This flag on the eighth hole is something that you don't go for with your second, especially with the way this green is designed. Sloping right to left and top to bottom. Anything slightly left would go off the green on the left. Absolutely. I think the fair is cleared now. So our leader, leading group ready to tee off. The honor has not changed hands yet uh, with Gaurav Pratap Singh saving that crucial par from the left bunker on the seventh. Another birdie opportunity for the professionals with this very much reachable par five, number eight. Yeah, it's playing at 536 yards. Yeah, it's 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 not a long hole, but it's got its challenge. I mean, on the green. Everybody has a story. I'm sure you have yours, and we would love to know more about you. Uh, Looks like he uh, lost uh, his footing out there. I enjoy the golf club, and I have a few meals, yeah. and you know. If that just, ball was uh, to just have fun, really miss fun. it yeah, yeah, way yeah. right, it would probably find the kids, 17th fairway. Hopefully, watching the show also. And but it has to, to tell them, miss way the right. young ones, just starting out, eight, nine, ten years old. Hmm. What would you tell them? What one piece of advice? Two par fives uh, run uh, absolutely side by side, the eighth and the seventeenth, with an absolute ditto design of a dog leg. Surprised to see Shami with a driver because I'm not sure if he can. Gets it so straight, he'll, he'll place it right at the water hazard. Oh, that will be, yeah, because he likes it. Yeah. Just a little out of his range to fly over the water. Um, some body language there, asking it to go come more left. 
might be on the right side of the fairway. The third member of the last pairing, Sachin Bisoya from Delhi Golf Club. Looks happy with it. Likes to draw it. This hole which will uh, suit his eye. It's a bit of a dog leg from right to left. Also, if you put a draw spin on it, I think the ball uh, tends to go uh, another pick, pick up another 20 yards uh, over that slope. Yeah. And then you are left with anything between a, from a three to a four iron. Mm -hmm. So By the looks of it, the wind is helping today. The Tiger duo of Honey Basoya and his caddy. Red and black. Left with a pretty much um, a bump and run. He had a very similar shot yesterday, which he didn't hit very well. Remember when he left it up, up on the slope? Uh, yes, yes, yeah. I think you're right. He yeah. left it about 15 odd feet short of the hole. Yes. When that flag was tucked in on the left um, side of the green. So now he's actually not coming up the slope. He's gonna ri he's gonna go on the on the. You can see like he's gonna ri ride the spine for some time. So you want to keep this a bit left. So in, uh, uh, you, a wee bit right, you might just catch the spine and it'll trickle off to the right. Pawan on number nine from the right side. First cut. Good angle in though. Good shot also. That's the easiest putt you'll get on number nine. Back to number eight, Honey Basoya. Coming off a birdie from number seven. Would be looking to pick up another stroke here. Yeah, okay. It's. it's uh, I would give him like, he would give himself seven. Just leaves himself uh, about six feet short of the hole. Uh, it looks more like four. It's a good chip from there. Left himself the, per uh, the, abs the perfect angle for, uh, for his third ch uh, shot. Shitaj from the right rough on number nine. He's got a good big opening, so it shouldn't be a problem. Needs to keep it low. Yeah, did that. Probably the the toughest putt on the golf course coming up for him. Abhijit from position A one. And he hits it high, so he can actually fly it all the way to the flag and, and hold it. Yeah, just overcooked it a bit. Just off the green on the left. Pretty straightforward chip from there. Beautiful colors on the golf course. The spring is in. You can see that purple colored Gulmohar tree on hole number nine. The trees shedding their leaves and new ones coming in. I think in another month's time, this golf course is going to be absolutely lush green. In the, but the, the rain has really helped also because uh, it's got that extra color onto the golf course. Although untimely, but yes, it did help. Just a bit. That's yeah, into the grain, uh, so it that's a very slow part. Manu Gandas, our uh, Order of Merit champion from 23, making the turn at, at two under for the day and five under for the championship. Coming off back-to-back -back birdies on eight and nine. Current sizing up his birdie putt on number eight.
But got a good idea of the speed from Sudhish part. So the season gone by 2022 was um, saw pretty much a battle between two players, Yuvraj Singh Sandhu and Manu Gandas. They had 11 victories between the two of them. And Manu Gandas finally came on top and victorious, walking away with the Order of Merit crown. Yuvraj is not playing this week. This would be his uh, third birdie in a row, Karan. That makes it... Uh, he's Karan mo ma making his moves. Moves on to minus eight and tied for second alongside Shamim Khan. Having started with the blemish on the first, an unforced error would be the right way to put it. Bagging four birdies thereafter on hole number four, seven, eight, I beg your pardon, six, seven, and eight. And all, he's hit all of them close. Honey for birdie as well. Got a good read from Karan's part. Surprised with the way the ball moved. Now, the fluttering of the players' t-shirts tells you the story of the wind picking up a little. Yeah. So this one is uh, a good 85, 90 feet of real estate to cover for Shitaj. Probably the longest part on the course today. Yeah, and the slowest one also. It's uphill, majorly uphill. You can see from the length of the backswing he took. That's a really good effort. I don't think it gets any better than that. Yeah, that, that would, I would give him 10 for that out of 10. A plus plus. Yep. Abhijit for birdie. He's uh, used the rules for his benefit again, uh, just like Gaurav on the other hole. Taken his preferred lie so that he can use his putter. From just off the green. And Pawan, Pawan must be having an eager look at this because he's got almost a similar putt coming in. Abhijit will tap that in for a par four on number nine. We'll make the turn at one under for the day and three under for the championship. Currently finds himself in tied 14th position. So that was, not sure whose ball that was, but it hit the tree in his... Uh, They've been uh, deflected into the bunker. Gaurav Pratap Singh holds a narrow one-shot lead over Karan Pratap Singh and Shamim Khan. Karan having birdied four out of the last five holes he's played. Pata seems hot. Yeah. He would be like to he he would like to ride the momentum into the back nine from here on. And that was Sachin's ball hitting the tree and coming back uh, into the bunker, which is uh, it's a very good break. Because uh, in the trees out on the right, on the on the eighth would be uh, jail as far as number eight is is concerned. Shitaj for par on number nine. 
That would be one hell of a two-part. With another hard look at the par save attempt for Shitage. Oh, that was she was a bit quick in that. Oh. Not meant to be. Yeah, N normally he always keeps his rhythm. He would drop to tied fourth. Uh, uh, beg your pardon, tied fourteenth, with that drop shot on hole number nine, two over for the day and three under for the championship. Shitage call. The final pairing of the day. Sachin Basuya, Gaur Pratap Singh, and Shamim Khan, walking up to the eighth. Uh, I'm not sure where Gaurav hit his second shot. Uh, we we saw him miss it right off the tee. So just waiting for some information to come in on where he is after his second shot. Although it's a bit of a difficult line to come from uh, for Shamim Khan, but. <laughs> Still a very um, makeable up and down. He's got magical hands, remember? Yeah, he's got amazing touch around the greens. This would be uh, not a place where you would, you want, would you want your ball to go to. It looks like... Uh, It looks like on, on, the, on the left, or over the green on number 11. This, I can see the netting of the practice area at the back. It probably is uh, hole at, at, at the back of hole number 11. Looks to me he's going to try and blast it out. Does just, that is just that. Brilliant. That's Sevi like. Sevi would be proud of that. Couldn't be a better shot. Sevi, me, uh, meaning Severiano Ballesteros, uh, the golfing legend who, uh, who was a wizard with his short game. In my fellow competitor's words, he just got out of the jail. On bail. Sachin Basoya also has missed the eighth green or oh, slightly on the right in the bunker. Yeah, like we saw uh, with with the video coverage, he got a bit, he got lucky. He hit, he was, it was going further right. It hit the tree and came back. Not a very long bunker shot to not something he would have expected. Poor attempt from the bunker. Shamim Khan having chipped up to within 10 feet of that whole location on the par 5, number 8. After a bit of trouble off the tee, I think Gaurav Pratap finds himself just off the green on the right of the eighth. Not sure. I wonder if, he, if he's there in with his yeah. second or his third. We'll uh, unlikely second because the, those trees are so close is uh, to, the, to the edge of the green. This is uh, Muniapan number 12. The front right pin, really tight pin, again. And this green, you know, where the pin is, uh, the grain is, uh, it actually is from uh, front to back, so ball tends to skid out there. Sachin uh, making a 
bit of a mess of number eight after hitting a perfect tee shot. I've noticed oh, most of the players on these holes where the flag is tucked on just over the bunker have come up short. For example, hole number five as well as here on hole number 12. Also number seven, quite a few of them came up short of the green. You know, it also depends on what kind of yardage they have. If they're between clubs, you know, you never know with the wind and everything. So He's got the short stick out. I'm presuming his lie is good and a straightforward uphill putt. Didn't get it even now. I think he was uh, trying to putt through the rough there. Perfect example of something that you shouldn't be doing considering the position you are in. So I think Shamim is with the almost same distance, and Shamim's got this for birdie. We're looking at a possible change of guard again. Shamim would be looking to hold this one and put the pressure on saving the par on Gaurav Pratap Singh on hole number 8. It's not a classic match play because Karan is also there you know, with, at the same score as Shamim. Like I said, the man with the magical hands. Yeah. Brilliant birdie by Shamim Khan on hole number eight. Gets into red numbers on the final day. Moves into tied for the lead at nine under after holding out for that birdie on number number eight. Yeah, and you know, his, his caddy has been spot on with his line reading because, and he's been starting it exactly where the caddy's been telling him. Gaurav likes to uh, do his own line reading. He he's actually uh, pretty good at at, the, at it. Must have you know studied a little bit of from Shamim's part. He'd be looking to hold that and cut the damage down to one shot. Yeah, he's been putting it well today. So yeah. Yeah, he's, he's held a couple of crucial ones. Uh, Great pass yeah. saves back to back in number seven and eight for our joint leader on day four, Gaurav Pratap Singh. And these are uh, these are these are things that you know uh, keep you in it because it's all going to boil down to the last few holes from the looks of it. Current from a really good position on number nine. Yeah, just. No, not, not. It's a bit downhill where, where the ball lands. So I guess I'm sure he can't really see where that ball has ended up. But uh, he's he's not in a bad position. It's a straightforward uphill chip. Should not be a problem to save power for Karan Pratap Singh on hole number nine. Yeah. Making amends, Sachin Basoya. Saving that power on the par five eighth. Yeah. He would be disappointed, but then, you know, he, he it almost like he was uh, almost made bogey there. So, not completely disappointed. We have a two-way tie on top of the leaderboard, shared by Gaurav Pratap Singh and Shamim Khan. After eight holes on the final day of the Delhi NCR Open 2023. Yeah, and current Lock is... Uh, he's, uh, he'll, be, he'll be relieved to see where his ball's finished up. Straightforward chip. Clear blue skies. Perfect weather for golf. Just a little bit of breeze. Nothing, 
not gusty as yesterday. Being further away from the hole and off the green, current to go first. It's, uh, and he's chipping into the grain, so he can be aggressive with this. Yeah, perfect. Brilliant touch displayed by the young man from Faridabad, Karan Pratap Singh. We'll have that tap in for par four. And to maintain his hot streak of four birdies in the last six holes, we'll make the turn on three under for the day and eight under for the championship in sole third position by himself. Uh, we're back on number 10 with Pavan. Again, a challenging flag on the right side, just over the water. Playing only, playing only 169 yards today. Yeah. Given the conditions, uh, looks like uh, looks like an eight iron for most of the professionals. Yeah, he had left himself. The the easiest part also, straight up the hill. Yeah. And Chidid has just just missed something very similar on the last hole. So you know, this this one w is uh, is important for him just to you know get back his momentum. Well done. Should get his confidence back. Yeah, this spring, the spring back in this step. Amongst the top ten players this morning, nine of them in under par and red colours. Only Sudhi Sharma and Sachin Basoya being over par just just before the turn. They'd be looking for greener pastures to conquer over the back nine of the course. So, the stage is set for a good fight over on the back nine. Yes, Manu from over the green on number 11. Brilliant touch. He does all these, you know, small things really well. I watched him play. He has no big misses. He's sharp around the greens. Uh, he's a complete package, Manu Gandas. Um, he's got the distance of the tee. He has the short shaping, both from left to right as well as right to left, and has an immaculate touch around the greens. You can't win the order of merit today if you don't have all the ingredients. Yeah, that, there's another uh, example of trying to putt through the rough. They're two different surfaces, and if the ball bounces in the f in, in the rough, it's definitely coming up short because the ball is going to lose all its momentum and if it when it bounces. And. That scenario on, uh, on on your screens, ladies and gentlemen, is just about to change with Shamim Khan having birdied number eight. Moves into tied lead with uh, Gaurav Pratap Singh at nine under for the championship. So, Shamim... Uh Probably about 180, 190 yards from f from the pin. Must, would be looking at the center of the green. So 
Looks like he started it on a good line. Yeah, and every time I say he's hitting to the center of the green, then he, he goes for the flag. <laughs> Yeah, just off the green on the yeah, pretty pretty good spot to be in. Even Shamim um, prefers a right to left movement uh, of the ball in the air. It that that's a pretty accessible flag uh, for yeah. him. Yeah, and it, it's good that uh, Gaurav has found the fairway after missing the last one. It's just. Sachin has found the trees on hole number nine, but I think he has he has a he has an opening, and can make his way to the green, right? Yeah, but you know he's gonna he'll have to hit a low cut out of there, from the looks of it, which pretty, uh, pretty much like what um, Shitaj did, Shitaj did yeah, just yeah. a short while ago. But generally likes to draw the ball, so it looks like he's trying to hit a draw around the uh, the wider gap on the right. Back to hole number 10, our first day leader, Sudhir Sharma. Oh, that's that's a really good shot. That's probably one of the, one of the better ones you're going to see the, today with that pin on the right, tucked in. It's always good to see another player hit first, so you can uh, kind of get to know how the wind is behaving on number 10. Because just the building at the back uh, blocks the wind a bit. Just a short while ago, having chipped up so close, I'm told uh, Karan Pratap Singh has missed that small little par save on number nine. Making the turn at two under par, having dropped a stroke, finds himself in tied third position alongside Hani Basoya at seven under for the championship here on the final day of the Delhi NCR Open 23. Yeah, Gaurav just overcooked that draw on, on number nine. It's left himself a really difficult up and down from the left. Not sure if this rolled down completely, but that's current uh, on number 10. Half a club too much. He did this. Uh, he he did he did this on number 12 yesterday as well. You know with. Every time he's tried to draw it, he's overcooked it. Has a tendency of the hands taking over and the body stops, stopping to turn. Yeah. Moving that ball a little more than intended from right to left. Probably very similar chip coming up for him also. So. Uh, and Gaurav is predominantly a, a left to right player, so right to left is not his... Uh, Strongest uh, ball flight, you know, he's more comfortable moving, fading the ball. Among the top five, six players, it's pretty much anybody's game. It's a close bunch up between Shamim, Gaurav Pratap, Hani Bisoya, Karan Pratap Singh, Sanit Bishnoi, Badal Hussain. And Manu Gandas. Our order of merit from 23 slowly creeping up the leaderboard. Minus two on the turn and five under for the championship. So uh, with Shamim just off the green and Gaurav in a bit of trouble after his second shot on nine. You know, it's going to be... Uh, People at seven under are very much in the game. It's Honey and Karan. Five under will have to have a really, really good back nine. I think it is pretty much anybody's game. Uh, looking at uh, holes number, uh, hole numbers uh, 11, 12, 13 coming up, and number 16, which plays a little tough, 241 yards par three from on top. But you know, the, our uh, two leaders right now, Shamim and Gaurav, both shot under par yesterday in, in gusty conditions. You 
you know, I think uh, Gaurav had 70 yesterday and, and Shamim 68. So, and they both played the back nine quite well. Uh, in fact, um, Gaurav had uh, four bogeys uh, on the on the back. He had a sole par on the on hole number 18. He had an eagle and two birdies to negate the four drop strokes. Uh, a bit of a roller coaster, right? Yeah. Finds himself on the left of the ninth green, having pulled his second. Yeah, uh, but but lucky he's, he's still on the up slope where the grass is, so he can get this to come up soft. Looks like he thinned it a bit. Shamim uh, sizing up his uh, birdie putt. Would say about 25, 25, 30 feet. I'd say that would be the range. Yeah. Yeah. So, for you golf, for the golfers, uh, club golfers, the the percentage of holding a 30, 30 footer on the on the tour would be about five to six percent. He's happy with that attempt. Kind of straightened out at the end. He looked like he was expected to, for it to turn a bit more. So, Gaurav said it about 18... 18 feet past. From where we were in the fairway, no, it's uh, must be pretty upset with himself. Going back to the term you just used a short while ago, Amit, uh, thinned. I remember back in the day, uh, this was uh, in sometime in 1993, 94. I'd gone to play a interclub championship at the Fryma Institute in Dehradun and I was paired uh, alongside Colonel KJS Thin and I did not know at the time that his last name was Thin. I hit my shot and he said, nice shot and I looked at him and I said, no sir, I think I thinned it. And he gave me a cold look and said, that's that my last name. That's got uh, Gaurav pumped up. That was crucial. Gaurav has had some really good saves of the last uh, three holes, par saves. Kept himself inside in the tournament. Absolute brilliant show with the short stick. Followed by that fist pump. Shamim and Gaurav, very different characters. I don't think Shim, I think it's uh, still, uh, no, I think it's Shamim further away. Now this uh, three footer just got a bit longer after Gaurav's putt. Gulu, Shamim Skadi, confident as ever with his lines. Yeah, well done, Shamim. Good save. Good one to keep the fight going. Never a doubt. Shamim Khan saving that par on hole number nine. After Gaurav Pratap Singh, the co-leader, 
holding that monstrous 20 footer for his own save looks looks like a lot of players are finding the back of the of the 11th uh, we saw amar chipping from a little further back uh, down down the slope i think that is the safer side amit because that flag is bottom left and you don't want to miss it left or short no, on on number 11 it's it's up on the yeah it's front left so it's, it's uh, 6 yards from the front and 5 from the left and with a 5 or a 6 iron coming in for your second you definitely don't want to leave it short in the bunker and the greens also look a bit f uh, crusty and fast you know yeah number 11 is is probably the toughest uh, second shot i would I say think, one of yeah. one of the tougher ones yeah, to uh, that that has green has no depth in it and and you have this this tree to contend with and especially and if you're coming with a five or a six iron uh, from the fairway yeah and, and you it's a elevated surface you need to hit the ball much higher on that green to, for it to stop ideal uh, condition for uh, somebody like hani busoya who likes to hit it high yeah with that left pin it be perfect for him hani likes to move it high he hits it high right to left speak of the devil and there he is okay that that's a make up for his uh, near birdie miss on number 8 that takes him to that takes hani to number 8 uh, under one shot back hani is at a flawless uh, first nine with just one birdie on hole number 7 a narrow miss on number 8 finds himself another birdie on number 10 moving on to 8 under par in tight third position i beg your pardon in third position all by himself karan tidying up for his par so looks like uh, sudin missed that short birdie part of his uh so he needs a something something to spark him up right now Meets like a chip word. in or a long part or something like that hi everybody welcome to the fifth edition of the delhi ncr open 2023 today we have with us arjun prasad hi he's uh, very consistent with his performance half a dozen top 5 finishes maybe a dozen top 10 finishes so you know i think arjun is someone who has shown consistency from discipline and this is why i would like to know more about you arjun uh, so tell me where how and when did you start playing golf well uh, i started golf at the age of 8 mm -hmm. uh, my father i come from a army background my father was posted in devlali at that time and uh, i mean one fine day all my i have a elder sister all four of us my parents and both of us we just planned on going to the golf club and uh, trying our hand at the sport and we all were just trying to hit the shots and everything but uh, no no one was able to connect it apart from me so the coach over there uh, mr joseph he was a coach a local coach in uh, devlali he said uh, well if you aap log ko aana hai aap aao but this kid should come every single day So from that day onwards, I mean, uh, my mom's a gynecologist, and uh, she would work in the afternoon. But then I would come back from school, and at three uh, o'clock at peak heat in and in Maharashtra, that in summers are really bad. It's really really hot. At peak heat, at after school at three o'clock, I would be at the golf club. So my next question would be, who was your role model? Well, growing up, uh, the only name I knew at that time was uh, Tiger Woods, of course. I mean, uh, I would look up to him and everything. But then I understood uh, that the pioneer in our in India was Jeev Sir. 
Jeev sir has been an inspiration for me since the very first days of me playing golf because uh, he was the only Indian to be the lowest ranked player in the world and played all the major events, performed well in them and uh, I mean and for someone to do that uh, coming from our country was just absolutely amazing. How has this growth in Perth, especially this year, changed your perspective about PGTI? How has it changed? I think it's a beautiful time to be in this sport. I truly believe that. I think uh, the amount of opportunities and of course the money that you're getting right now in the sport is amazing. And uh, I think the Indian Tour has done a great job, you know, moving with the DP World Tour that's pumped, them, pumped in a lot of money and a lot of opportunities for us to play at a higher tour and to compete with players like last two weeks I played at the, uh, at, the at KGA the Challenge Tour events and it was a great opportunity to, to you know go shoulder to shoulder with some of the some of the really some of them really were really good players and I mean to go shoulder to shoulder with them was amazing and I think that's a that's a fantastic opportunity that PGTI has uh, come up with okay. yeah I, thanks uh, I'll Thanks a lot. All sir. the best. Thank all you the so best much. for your tour and the tournament. So that was uh, me with Arj Arjun Prasad. Br uh, really nice uh, young, uh, I would say, boy compared to where I am age wise. And uh, it so happens his father is also uh, from the artillery regiment, and uh, so was mine. And uh, after the whole interview was over, I said, okay, that golf course in Devalali is the THI, the Temple Hill Institute. And he says, how do you know? And I said, you know, I was actually born in Devalali. <laughs> so. so just to let you know, uh, viewers, most of the courses in this country are owned by the armed forces. And you'll see a lot of young kids coming out uh, of the ranks, first into the amateurs and then uh, going out to get their professional boots on and making a career out of uh, playing professional golf. As has been uh, displayed in the past by the likes of Jyoti Randhawa, Jeev Milka Singh, uh, Shubankar Sharma, uh, flag, bearers of, uh, flag bearers of Indian golf, uh, Anirban Lahiri, all coming from the armed forces background goes on to say and to show how much uh, the forces support the kids and the sport and it's not just the, the support we get from the forces it's also you know the the environment in the in the house with uh, it's a lot of uh, discipline and you know hard work is always uh, being you know encouraged in the kids so i guess you we, uh, you know defense services kids grow up you know, knowing these core values which uh, need, you need to have to excel at golf. Looks like uh, Shamim has found the water on number, number 10. Uh, yeah, with his experience, I, uh, I'm not sure if he... Uh, I'm actually very surprised that uh, Shamim Khan has found the water. Yeah, I've rarely seen that. Given the situation is very rare. So with that, uh, you know, and with this flag, it's uh, he, he needs to uh, take the drop on the other side of the penalty area. Yeah, and uh, since we're playing preferred lie, he, he gets to uh, clean and place also. So once the golf ball finishes up in a hazard, uh, you, are, you have two options. You can either play from where, in fact, there are three options. You can play from where it lies, or you can keep the flag and the point of entry in line and go as far back as you want. And the third option being, you can go back to the tee and hit it again from where you started. So he's taken to option number two, and he's dropped it in line. He has decent amount of green to work with, the, the flag being 12 yards uh, from the front edge. Yeah, but it's a little bit of a down slope where he's going to pitch this ball. Would be looking to minimize the, the, the loss. Yeah, it's 
So, yeah, but, you know, I guess uh, knowing Shamim, he didn't, he wanted to take out it. Uh, he would not leave that one shot. This could be a game changer right here uh, on hole number 10. Shamim having found the water hazard off the tee. And uh, from the looks of it, with Gaurav in the, uh, with the putter in his hand, has hit the green in regulation. Not, not sure how far he is. You know, that ball of Shamin's almost uh, went in. If you, you know, it, it, it did it, bounce right next to the hole. I saw that. It uh, bounced and it just grazed the hole. And uh, like uh, we sh showed you earlier in the show, he's he's going to use the rules to his benefit and take a, place the ball closer to the green, but not closer to the flag. Looks like Gaurav is uh, about 25, 30 feet away. That would be smart play, Amit. Uh, hit to the middle of the green and put to the corners, given the position that he's in. Yeah, and you know, he's, uh, he needs a f couple of holes which are like relatively easily easy pars, you know. He's been, he's been uh, you know, saving himself for the last three holes. Time to make no unforced errors. Yeah. Wow, that was one hell of a effort for birdie on hole number 10 by Gaurav Pratap Singh, our leader. Leaves himself a two and a half footer. Yeah, maybe less. Looking at that shadow, just pre-noon shadow, I don't think that's more than a two footer. In fact, you're right, Amit. He's closer than what it looks like. Yeah. Just to tap in, to save power. Gaurav will move on to T number 11 in sole lead of the tournament for the first time in four days. Yeah. By one shot for sure, if not two over his playing partner, Shamim Khan. Oh. Well, uh, that's a welcome birdie. F uh, for, for Sachin, he's, he's been struggling the whole day. Like I said earlier, though, Hungarian goose has finally laid an egg. Yeah, this is what I was, we were speaking earlier with Sudhir. Like, he needs something like this to spark his, his round. Because he's uh, had nothing going for him today. Coming off three bogeys in the front nine, Sachin Basoya with that birdie, with that much-needed birdie, would find himself at minus four for the championship and in tied ninth position with Sudhir Sharma. Trying to minimize his losses. Yeah, that was always on the low side uh, from, from the word go. Nevertheless, a good attempt by Shamim Khan. His caddy's line reading uh, has been tested today, and he's always come up on top. Shamim for a five. Jittery there. With a very expensive double bogey on hole number 10, Shamim Khan suddenly finds himself two adrift off the lead. It's probably the only place he couldn't have missed it. 
Gaur Pratap Singh carrying on his form, being very solid from tee to green, saving those crucial up and downs for pars on hole number seven, eight, and nine, with two birdies in the front nine, making the turn at two over. Uh, I beg your pardon, at two under, and with a solid par on number ten, finds himself in the sole lead by two strokes at nine under par for the championship. Sudhir on number eleven from the, the front of the green. He's still looking for a spark to spark Sudhir up. Honey with a very f similar chip. Straightforward uphill, a bit from his left. Only eight holes to go before this tournament culminates for the last pairing of the day. So I, you know, Honey knows that uh, if he needs to, you know, win this tournament, he needs to put a move on with uh, him two shots back. So I guess that reaction after hitting a good chip was from the fact that he was trying to hold it. Honey would be dejected with that bogey on the short par 3, 169 yards, number 10. With the sole birdie and a bogey on this card, he's at even par. And after that par save on hole number 11, at six under par for the championship and in sole four position, position number four at the moment. Current lining up his uh, ball. So professional golfers uh, tend to put a line on their ball, which helps them you know, align themselves. Just makes life easier um, as far as uh, aligning your putter face with the ball is concerned. Take one variable out of play to save his power. Karan. Just, just hit it through the break a bit. Although I like this aggressive attitude uh, of this young man. Udyan Mane on uh, number 17. You'd be happy with that? Blast out of the bunker. I'm sure you enjoyed that. Uh, paired up with uh, Gaganjit today. Looks like a nice uh, three ball. Enough number of victories between the two of these. Ganganjit with the maximum number of victories on the Asian tour by any Indian. Or then Mane having won the Order of Merit uh, in 2021. Hello everyone. Yeah, Welcome to the fifth more. edition of the Delhi NCR Open 2023. Today, Ashok Kumar Ji. Ashok Kumar has won 29 tournaments on the PGTI. He has won the Order of Merit three times. And his lowest score has been 64 more than once. So, today, you know, every person has a special And I think Ashok is probably one of the better chippers on the PGTI. Uski chipping, hamesha dekhi hum practice karte the. Pehle ki yari Ashok ki jaise pitch chipping honi chahiye. To aaj Ashok ka maasat hai. Ashok apni chipping mein jab aap chip karte ho, to aapke do tar cheese hume batao jo aap dhyan mein rakte ho 
चिप मारने के पहले कि आपने क्या सोचते हो कि किस चीज़ को देखते हो नहीं सबसे पहले तो मैं अपना बॉल पोजीशन देखता हूँ जो अपना बॉल कैसे पड़ी हुई है और क्या शॉट खेलना है क्योंकि चिपिंग में सबसे जरूरी चीज़ होती है जो आप शॉट का खेल रहे हो उस पर ज़्यादा डिपेंड करता है एंड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट क्लब पर आप लो बॉय से लेकर आप सेवन आयन तक चिप मार सकते हो या फाइव आयन तक भी चिप मार सकते हो लेकिन डिपेंड ऑन द स्पेस कितना है अपने पास जैसे अभी ये शॉट है छोटे चिप है तो इसको मैं सैनवेज से मारूंगा थोड़ा स्पेस ज़्यादा है तो इसको मैं फिफ्टी टू से मारूंगा तो डिपेंड करता है जो अपने पास स्पेस कितना है और कितना बॉल को गिरा के रन देना है तो आप ज़्यादातर रोल में ज़्यादा विश्वास करते हो या स्पिन में नहीं डिपेंड करता है जो शॉट कौन सा खेल रहे हैं जैसे अब बैक फ्लैक है तो इस पर तो, तो, तो रोल पर ज़्यादा विश्वास करना पड़ेगा और और जैसे शॉर्ट फ्लैक है जैसे जेस्ट ऑन फ्लैक है ये इस पर थोड़ा सा स्पिन पर आपके हमारी ये प्रो ये एपिसोड को काफ़ी यंग बच्चे देखेंगे और सोचेंगे कि यार मेरी भी चिपिंग अशोक की तरह हो है ना पर उनको ये बताना है जरूरी होगा कि अशोक ने इसको इतना कंट्रोल हासिल करने के लिए क्या किया आई थिंक चिपिंग का सबसे जरूरी चीज़ जो आप प्रैक्टिस करते रहो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट शॉट और डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लाइन एंगल से और सबसे ज़रूरी चीज़ है जो आपके जब चिप मारते हो तो हमेशा देखो जो बॉल किस एंगल पर पड़ी हुई है वो देखना जरूरी होता है इन जो बॉल पड़ी है और हम हमने लॉ बज निकाल लिया और उसका शॉट नहीं है और हमारा फिर डफ लग गया टॉप लग गया तो डिपेंड करते सब ये ये बॉल ऐसे पड़ी है तो यहाँ पे तो लो बाइज नहीं मार सकते हैं तो डिपेंड लाइक सेवन एंड थोड़ी सी लाइ अच्छी पड़ी है तो उसको फिर आप सैन से चिप कर सकते हो आप तो चिपिंग में बस यही जो आप डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लाइ से प्रैक्टिस करो अलग अलग जगह से अलग अलग लाइ से अलग अलग क्लब से है ना सो थैंक्स अशोक वेलकम सर थैंक्स सर ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक वेल थैंक्स होप यू वेन That was Ashok Kumar. Just a short while ago, multiple uh, order of merit uh, victories under his belt. As you noticed, he he spoke about uh, all sorts of different kinds of st uh, shots that he has in his bag. So all the amateurs, especially the club players, this goes out to you. You don't have to stick to only a sand wedge or a lob wedge or a pitching wedge to chip. Depending on the situation, you can vary your shots, and that will definitely help you lower your scores and bring your handicap down. By the way, when I, but just before I I started that interview, so I was talking to him. I was talking. He says, uh, he says he calls me Amit sir, and he says Amit sir, diggy sir, ki aise chipping honi chahiye. So you know you don't know it, but he kind of uh, looks up to you when it comes to his chipping. Oh, well, if if you're listening to this and if you're watching this, Ashok, thank you very much for the kind words. And believe me, I I'm seeing you. How you chipping? How you do it? Thank you very much for the for the compliment. I, it really means a lot to me. मैं आपको अपने chipping दे देता हूँ आप मेरे को अपनी victories दे दो 29. I think that is a fair deal. I will settle for the 29 victories against the 12 or 13 that I have. So got up from the left side of the fairway on number 11. Shamim looks like he's uh, uh, on the green because uh, after hitting he had a he gave his club to his caddy very confidently i would say um, gorov would be looking at the middle of the green anywhere between 25 to 30 feet right of the hole that yeah. would be a good position to be in he shouldn't make the same mistake he's made twice or, or, or since we've started airing because every time there's a left flag he's missed it left so i think he's going to be uh, conscious of that on this hole i don't really know where that ball finished we'll just have to wait and see yeah hopefully not left because that is uh, that's one place you don't want to miss it up with that flag today um, unfortunately uh, even karan pratap has made a, a, he's dropped a stroke on hole number 11 and suddenly finds himself out of the fray a little dropping from 7 to 6 under par for the championship and 1 under for the day yeah it's you know if uh, gorov can keep his wits about him and you know just I think it's a battle of nerves on top uh, going into the last 7 uh, 8 holes from here on. So that's uh, honey in the in the in the first cut on number 12. There's a tree that comes out it's it, it blocks your approach shot if you if you hit it a bit left or even sometimes on the left side of the fairway. So the from the center of the fairway on number 12. He's uh, the flags just over the right bunker it's a tough flag to hit close on amit yep 
And this ball tends to release on the right side of the green once it hits the green. And every time we've done this, we've seen the ball come up short. So this one is playing a little downwind uh, by the looks of the way that flag is fluttering. It definitely will be tough to get anything close on this hole unless you have a sand wedge. Um, Generally, you know, uh, uh, in your hand, club golfers think uh, downwind more distance. But when you hit hit an iron shot downwind, the actually the the wind actually pushes the ball down the, and lowers down the trajectory. And sometimes it might come up short. Uh, quite possible, it same happened to Sudhir uh, approach shot. Honey from the left rough. Definitely easier said than done. I mean, it's easy for us to sit here and analyze uh, on what the player has done and come up with uh, the right solution. But somebody who's in the middle of or, or in the mix of things, uh, what goes on in their, in their minds at, at the moment is completely different. Current from the perfect position on number 12. needs to put the brakes on you know he's uh, he's made had a couple of loose holes now this is number 9 and 11 anything between i'd say this is one of the best angles to be approaching this uh, whole location from yeah it couldn't be anything more than a gap wedge though yeah. looks like it a wedge or a gap wedge. And like you can see, this all three balls have come up short. The players are uh, finding it wind. tough to um, hit it close on number twelve. Finding it tough to judge the wind. And just like it, like yesterday, it, it looks like it's uh, gusty out there. And Gaurav actually did miss it left again on number 11. He'll have to be a bit of a wizard to save a four on number 11 from the position he suddenly finds himself in without wasting any time. Needs to settle down. Yeah, but that that's... You know, it's all downhill, down grain from there, so it's pretty, pretty good effort. Sachin also has missed it a bit left. I've seen most of the players today have been short siding themselves, uh, making uh, life uh, difficult for to to save pars. Again, the same thought comes to my mind, um, hit to the middle of the greens and put to the corners. And you know, uh, one of the players that we uh, played a lot of golf with, Mukesh used to be very good at this. I don't think I've seen Mukesh uh, in his prime miss it on the, on, on the short side, on, on the short side yeah. ever. Yeah. He was such an intelligent player throughout his career with more than 100 victories under his belt. He never let anybody come close to him on the domestic tour. From the bunker... Honey from the bunker on number 12. So uh, even Sudhir found that bunker, I guess. He'll be dejected with that uh, effort out of the trap on the right. Yeah, you know, the, we're talking about Mukesh Kumar, who's, uh, who's probably won more tournaments uh, professional tournaments than any other Indian professional golfer. If anybody deserves a, uh, you know, a lifetime achievement, uh, achievement award on the professional golf tour of India, it's definitely Mukesh Kumar. And uh, Shamim from the correct side, uh, that was his birdie attempt. You can see um, Shamim um, being one of, the long, uh, one of the shorter hitters chose to go for the middle of the green and Still went and uh, wanted to negate that mistake that he made on the last hole. 
although this was a longish uh, birdie attempt but he yeah, still went for it i like we spoke yesterday four fours and 11 four fours and 11 and three fours on uh, sorry four threes on 16 yeah these are these are these are uh, holes that will bite you if you're if you're if you're not careful current for birdie on number 12 He's given it a go. Just charge, charging that up a little, just outside comfortable range to save his par. Our tournament leader, Gaurav Pratap Singh, on hole number eleven. Oh, that was uh, it. He thought he had it. Good, good, at, good attempt on par there. But that will drop him back to eight under, and now he's just the lead has shrunk to one. from his fellow uh, uh, competitor Shamim although uh, on his return 3 footer has a bit of a tricky line to um, overcome yeah and you know the last one that he hit was uh, just about found the hole so nerves coming into play over the back nine meanwhile trying to save his par after that not so good attempt out of the bunker Yeah. Honey Bisoya will have to settle with a bogey on number 12. So After dropping another stroke with three back to back bogeys, two under for the sorry, uh, two over for the day and four under for the championship, he will drop down to tied eighth position alongside Sanit Bishnoi So that was Sharma. Sachin for his par there, and Sachin Bisoya. Yeah. So Sudhir, this is what he's got left for his par after finding the same bunker Honey was in. Definitely uh, an easier. but coming up uh, as compared to hanis for sudhi sharma the putt has been a little cold after the first day for sudhir yeah he's had a lot of near misses without wasting any time what sudhir needs is a, a one long part or a good chip which finds the hole to energize him again he needs a couple of uh, red numbers over the next few holes yep red ladies and gentlemen is the preferred color of numbers that the okay, that professionals want themselves to be in completely solid on that small part current tidying up on number 12 the advantage that um, gorov had built up on owing um, on on hole number 10 uh, owing to uh, shamim finding the water hazard has suddenly been shrunk by just one narrow margin uh, of stroke that he leads over shamim after hole number 11 sitting pretty at 8 under and shamim making no mistake on that long 40 footer two part to save his par moves on to 7 under in second position on his own and uh, this is uh, hole number 17 uh, we have m dharma he's he's found himself 30 yards right of the green and almost on the 18th fairway looking at the flag uh, it's 5 feet 5 uh, yards from the right and 16 from the front even dharma seems to have short sided himself he would probably be looking at uh, going through the trees uh, 
and probably uh, right of the bunker and would like to would be very happy to walk away with the five i think yeah he's he can't go the aerial route because the tree is oh, on top he can't get it over that because it's it's, it's pretty high and yeah. and he's pretty close yeah so he has to f you know manufacture something which is low most probably you know land it into the side wall of the bunker and you know hope it takes the right bounce towards the flag in ideal conditions yeah this would be uh, if he gets it on the green it'll be brilliant it's uh, Has to be very precise with the uh, with the trajectory and uh, the amount of uh, acceleration he wants to put on it. Another Tiger Woods colors. Welcome to the PGTI show. We have today with us Shivendra Singh Sisodia. Thank you, sir. Welcome, Shivendra. It's a pleasure to have you here. I, when I heard your story, Shivendra, I was. Uh, I had to I had to tell your story to everybody so you know I I that's why I requested you to join us on the show so Shivendra tell us this your story is so intense and intriguing I I want you to tell us in your own words get to know about golf in 2006 and I was in Hindon Air Force Station and I was there uh, to join the force from any any ent entry level and uh, my father uh, sent me there to join the force and uh, there uh, one day I was sitting in the golf course and one gentleman came and there was no no boy there and I was there and uh, he asked me to come at the driving range and collect the ball so uh, he was 100 ball in his bag he put it on the ground and start hitting and sit he asked me to sit next to him so I sit there and he start hitting the ball after 20 shots he asked me do not try. I said I can try the way you're doing. So he gave me his seven iron, and I I was just watching him uh, like ten minutes. I just watched he play 10, 20 shots, and I hold the grip the way he was holding, and uh, I hit first shot of my life in 2006, and the shot was better than him. And what made you say think you're ready to turn pro? 2011. striking your speak quite okay why don't you go and do the teaching pro certification mm -hmm. so 2011 there was a PAT test in uh, August month mm -hmm. uh, Lado Sarai golf course Kutub golf course so I played day one six under mm -hmm. and uh, there was a gentleman called Karan Bindra mm -hmm. and Anathya Chan they both guy were sitting and I submit my card to them and they just saw the card and says, uh, Karan sir said that time, Sivendra, what are you doing here? You're not meant for this. You go and play PGTI. Then I got to know PGTI and I googled and everything and luckily there was a Q school coming. So I fill up the form, submit the piece and go on Jaipur and made the first attempt, made the cut in uh, pre-Q. And that's how I become professional for 2012. That is amazing. Wow, I love this story, man. You know, I, 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 somebody told me and I said, no, 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 it can't be true. But now it, I know it is true. By the way, the PAT test is player ability test for a teaching pro. Uh, yeah, I, go, I got top in 2000. Uh, Thank you, Shivendra. This is such a pleasure Thank you. hearing Thank your you. story. Thank you. And Thank all you. the best for the tournament. Thank, Thank you so much. Making dreams come true on the PGTI. So, uh, we are back live on the course, Shabim on number 12. Just short of the uh, grass bunker on the right on, of the fairway. Tough angle to get close, uh, any, anywhere close to that flag. Um, I'm again assuming like uh, playing the 11th just before this one, he would be looking at the middle of the green yeah. and nothing right of that. You know, we haven't seen anybody hit close on, from the fairway so far. Just a couple of birdies made on this uh, tough uh, Whole location on number 12. One is by C. Muniapa and Badal Hussain just a short while ago.
still contemplating and discussing what to go with. Finally, plucks out the club that he. I would say center green, two part, nothing more. Gaurav has a better angle of approach coming in on this whole location. By the way, the spectators are clapping. He's definitely found the dance floor. Remains to be seen how far he is. Uh, and Gaurav is almost exactly in the same position he, after his drive as he was uh, yesterday. But today the pin being on the right. Yesterday it was top left. So Sachin uh, in the left tree, so Sachin likes to draw the ball and uh, 12 is a predominantly left to right hole if you need to actually mo hit it left to right. I even st straight balls, as you know, find the left rough. Uh, definitely the best angle of approach uh, is um, where um, Gaurapatap is lying uh, and it suits his eye, it suits the short shape that he puts on the ball. Yeah, it'll be um, interesting to see whether he comes up short also because we've seen the last few groups coming up short, right? Uh, so well, I, I think he's, he's learnt his lesson. I'm, I'm sure he's not going to come come up short. He'll, he'll be looking at the middle of the green. If the ball fades in, it's good. Otherwise, he sh would be, should be looking at...
you off in the 18th hole playing the 18th hole sorry just for your information ladies and gentlemen this tournament has been cut down to 63 holes after the incessant rain that came down on day 1 the first day was cut down to just 9 holes of tournament play yeah there was very there was a lot of uh, there was a thunderstorm in delhi that was we were surprised that it they had play that day because it was really really uh, not a golf course was uh, half under water the weather has been very inclement in um, and very surprisingly has been inclement in the past two weeks a very untimely rain making things difficult for for the ground staff so shamim cleaning up for pa keeps him at 7 under we just have to wait and see where uh, what um, our tournament leader gaurav pratap singh made on hole number 12 that's uh, rashid uh, playing number 17 looks like that was his third shot uh Rashid not having the best week this week. Uh, this is normally a, a track that he likes to play, and he's he's uh, he's a regular out here. He's got uh, Noida Golf Course has given him playing rights, uh, like it's done for other some other professionals as well. Uh, Very aggressive young man with his game, Rashid Khan, with a couple of victories under his belt on the Asian Tour. Yeah, he was in the uh, in the mix of things at the DGC o recently concluded DGC Open as well. Both he and Hani and uh, were in the final group along with uh, Chikarang Oppa. So it was uh, last group was all an all Indian group. Uh, unfortunately. Um, Um, to the um, Rashid lost the DGC Masters to the eventual winner Miguel Tabuena by a solitary shot. Tabuena shot probably his career best on the last day, walked away with a 65 and a huge uh, check. That was Sanit Bishnoi from the left on uh, number 17. And uh, we have here Angad on the front of the green on number 17. Not sure if he's here in three or, uh, or two. Pretty straightforward pitch. Lots of green to work with. Tall, lanky. We missed hit that one a bit. So Rashid God has left himself uh, around 12, 15 feet for not sure of par or or, uh, or birdie.
the shirts again seem to flutter a bit the wind picks up will definitely be a factor in the last few holes been placed on up on top of the spine on number uh, 17 that must have looked good for a long time it just wandered off left at the end sanit not uh with uh five feet left his uh, sister plays on the on the w g a i also on the l e t l e t mean uh, meaning the ladies european tour both uh, it's uh, pretty much very similar to uh, another brother and sister pro uh, duo minwoo lee and his sister minji lee this is uh, number 14 the par 5 short short par 5 but a uh, very narrow uh, fairway with uh, out of bounds running on the on the left and uh, and a uh, very deep grass bunker on the on the right side so you need to hit a really t straight tee ball and then you're left with a mid iron mostly easier flag um, as compared to yesterday to hit a close on just six paces inside and four from the right yeah uh, probably the flattest part of the green also because this green has a has a ridge running through it which separates the front from the back shitej uh, assessing his lie trying to figure out what shot to play with very little green to work with uh, coming from that right bunker um, he has to be a uh, he has to hit a near perfect shot to hit it anywhere close but even if he hits it anywhere um, within a 10 foot range he has a very optimistic chance of making a birdie four so angat tidying up on number 17 straight up the hill yeah I'll be pleased with that especially after that chip back to number 14 the very diligent shitej call out of the bunker would be looking to make an up and down and another red number on the card really so it's a brilliant goal shot yeah put traje correct trajectory on it you know to stop it fast coming off two back to back bogies on 11 and 12 Shitej would be looking to make a make amends here. Good technique, nice early release of the head. Very little movement in his golf swing. I've noticed. Uh, it's quite a picture book. Uh, yeah, he's uh, doesn't use his wrist very much in his uh, golf swing. Right. abhijit electing to chip straight forward a little bit of right to left in it actually now it just went straight on him left himself a bit of a tester the third member of this group uh, pavan kumar hit his uh, second shot over the back so chipped up to 
10 feet has got this left for his birdie. The group uh, behind this pairing is already walking up with Sudhir Sharma having split the fairway into two. Yeah, and you know, a four on 14 almost feels like a par with the net of the hole it is. And, uh, I'm sure all these uh, last three groups are looking to birdie it. Looks like you've been playing on very long golf courses, Amit. Well, uh, you know, most par fives have uh, longer irons, and this this one has uh, mid iron into it, uh, very much like a long par four. So, disappointing bogey uh, par five for Pawan. I remember this one time you and I were playing around a golf here. Just I remember it was in tournament, and you literally came out of your came out of your socks and on the tee shot. And I asked you, did you catch that? And you said, no, I just swung through uh, just a three quarter. So uh, Shitij going through his uh, aim point routine, trying to figure out the line, which has got most golfers baffled on this golf course. We love to see this going after those two bogeys on 11 and 12. Yeah. I remember your taking your a second look. Favorite word used to be three quarters. For that much needed birdie, Shitij now with call. Yeah, well done. Took his time. Brilliant bunker shot. Um, yeah, it's, it's not easy to stop that one close. With the design of the green, of this green, which has uh, got this ridge in the middle and then it's sloping from right to left, uh, and uh, you coming out from that right, deep right bunker. It's a, very, it's a very nicely designed uh, green for the length of hole it is. Abhijit tidying up. Probably uh, left himself more than he wanted. Good putt. Couple of birdies uh, for this third last pairing of the day. So uh, this is uh, the group of Aman Raj and Simon Yappa making their way to the 17th green. Uh, a dog leg path five, 550 yards. You actually need uh, two solid hits. Uh, I'll have to stand up and notice uh, another move by Badal Sen, quietly going, uh, going about his round. Was four under f through the first eight holes then coming up with back-to-back -back bogeys on 9 and 10, quickly going on to recover on 12 and 14. Four under for the day, six under for the championship, finds himself in tight third position alongside Karan Pratap Singh on this final day of the Delhi NCR Open 23.
like I said earlier, Amit, it, it was anybody's game. Uh, it, in, anybody who was within five strokes of the leader overnight, look at Badal Hussain, barring those two bogeys on his, on his, on his round, he would have been pretty much uh, in there, in the mix. Yeah, that was Dharma uh, cleaning up his, his round. Uh, that was his final hole for the tournament, number 18. So the penultimate group uh, making their way to, hole, to the green of the par 5, 14th hole. Karan has left himself with a 56 yarder. Uh, yes, uh, probably got two uh, shots he can play from there. He can he can skip it on and and stop it, or he's, or fly it on and stop it because the pin's just on. So uh, he's not got much room to stop the ball. Uh, so you took the former. That's a brilliant shot golf shot. And skipped it on. Another birdie opportunity for Karan Pratap Singh. Looking to close that gap between uh, him and the leader of the tournament, Gaurav Pratap Singh. That's uh, Angad in the middle of the fairway on number 18. Trying to judge the wind and. and as you viewers can see, this, it's, it's quite windy with all the leaves blowing across the fairway. Karan, after that brilliant um, run from hole number four to number eight, suddenly went a little dry with back-to-back -back bogeys on nine and ten. Nine and eleven, I beg your pardon. Would be looking for a couple of uh, red numbers in the next few holes if he is to pose any kind of threat to the leader, Gaurav, at the moment. That must have looked really good to Angad in the air. It's, he covered the flag all the way. That was Angad Chima hitting his second shot into number 18. 18th is pretty much in the same line like it was yesterday, just a little closer um, to the bunker. And Sanit from the perfect spot, right side of the fairway to this left middle pin. Probably from the looks of it, it's a wedge in his hand. Look like a decent golf swing. Yeah, good, good angles. Good Brilliant rhythm. golf shot. Yeah. All three uh, players in this group have uh, realistic chances at birdie. Rashid being the third. The 18th hole is a straightforward par, par four, measuring 430 yards. With the water hazard on the left, so uh, it's it's a it's a decision of the tee whether you want to you know take it on or you just want to hit a cl uh, club off the tee which stops short of the water hazard. And then it's a uh, if you if you lay it up, it's it's a uh, short iron. If you take it on, it's a wedge. So uh, looks like these people, uh, th this group, took it on. Gives you a mix. Uh, gives you mix uh, kind of a bag of opportunities off the tee. From any anywhere from a driver to a to a rescue is, is is what you can choose from. Absolutely, it's a it's a very well designed uh, gre hole. And uh, earlier it used to play much shorter, but uh, a few years ago the the committee took the tee box a bit further uh, further back, which made it. Uh, I think it made it a better hole. Sudhir. On number 14. Finally, one finds the hole. That should cheer, cheer him up a bit. Some saving grace for our first round leader, Sudhir Sharma. Finally gets a birdie on number 14. 
and Karan has had a good read from Sudhish Bhatt. I've just been told it's a back-to-back -back birdie for Sudhir, having birdied the tough par 4 13. He's packed in another birdie on number 14. That moves him to 5 under, minimizing his mistakes by another shot, 1 over for the day. Finds himself in tight for 5th position alongside Manu Gandas and Harinder Gupta. Karan rolling in that uh, birdie putt as well. Playing alongside uh, Sudhi Sharma, Karan makes a 4 on the 14th as well. That, that takes him to 7 under, which is uh, one shot behind the leader, Gaurav Pratap. And tied for second alongside uh, Shamim Khan. DLF, a big supporter of golf also, uh, is, uh, supporting a lot of professionals and juniors. You can see with, uh, with the logo on uh, Sanit's cap and his t-shirt. And it also, they also support uh, uh, Honey also. Quite a few youngsters are coming out of DLF. Uh, our Order of Merit champion from last year, Manu Gandas, uh, Veer Alawat, the likes of uh, Abhinav Lohan has been playing there alongside uh, Honey Basoya and Sanit Bishnoi. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's a ni really nice uh, gesture on, on their part because golf needs that kind of uh, promotion from the, uh, the big business houses. Fear the hat on your screens, ladies and gentlemen, from Patna, Aman Raj. On hole number 17. Yeah, he, was, uh, he had just placed himself in the middle of both those bunkers before the, uh, in the middle of both those bunkers before the green. Uh, pitched it up to four feet. He's got this left for birdie. Not having the best of days. Two over for the day and even par for the championship. Currently in tied 18th position. Yeah, that kind of sums up his day so far. Missed opportunities. Shows the frustration in the walk. That's our final group on the 14th hall. With Sachin in the middle of the fairway. You can see Shamim Khan on the left half of the fairway. Yeah. He has a very decent um, line to the to that whole location, cut only six yards on. And surprisingly long for him, you know, he's uh, he's right there. He's past him. that mound. I don't yeah. think he's going with anything longer than a like a three iron or something, yeah, or pro and, probably and, a. And our leader is uh, in the left rough. Four metal. From what it looks, from the looks of it. Like I said, these are the last few holes where uh, the tables can turn and fortunes can change. Lining up for a second, Sachin Basoya. Also not having the best of days, four under for the day and two under for the championship. Starting the day at six under, just too shy of the leader. Almost had the club right. Maybe a yard away from being really good. Probably a yard left would have been next to perfect. We were just talking about it that the current hole location on hole number 14 is probably one of the most accessible. Amongst uh, a heap of birdies, there have been three eagles on number 14 today by Ajay Bisoya, Naman Dawar, and Yashas Chandra. And the solitary eagle in the first coming from Giriraj Singh Karka. And yesterday on the same hole with the, with the 
tougher pin position there was only one eagle that was gorops made by the leader of the tournament gorop pratap singh he would be looking to find the green with the second shamim khan he's got a fair way metal by the looks of it he started it off on a good line oh also finds the bunker short siding himself just a, a yard short from being very good so uh, the 14th fairway runs diagonally across as when you stand on the tee so if you if you hit it too straight and a fair distance you generally run through fairway just like our leaders has done and uh, for a, for a longer hitter it's uh, he needs to either cut the corner or or fade the ball looks like he might be stuck against the tree or something not really looking to advance that ball much towards the towards the hole those trees are really close to each other because you know there's the, the trees on noida golf course by the looks it. of it he's he's walked uh, sideways so he probably is looking to chip it out um, just onto the fairway just trying to get himself uh, a decent line for his third yeah the the, the plantation of trees at noida golf course have uh, is such that there's very few gaps very closely planted trees i'm not quite sure what kind of a lie he has does he have a backswing looks like he does he's, he's, he's standing too far right uh, see um, he's he's looking over his right shoulder to see if that club is getting stuck and he's put, he's making a big swing he's not just chipping it out he's trying to get this he's trying to advance this more than just 50 60 yards by the practice swing that he made he looks like he's trying to hook it around yeah seems to be pointing more towards the 13th fairway could be a make or break moment for our tournament leader gaurav pratap singh yeah and it came out perfect or brilliant golf shot probably lying the best after the second shot wow that has to be that's probably that has to be one of the, the best shots of the day yeah how fortunes change you know shamim looked in the driver's seat 2 uh, minutes ago and now it's like uh, i think that's the beauty of the sport amit yeah. uh, it's never over till the fat lady sings that's a term that we uh, which uh, Uh, I remember Peter Alice uh, the f famous English commentator uh, quoting at one of the open championships that I watched on TV it's ne never over till it is over would be the right context well uh, like you know just we've just seen some uh, fortunes change here and uh, so it's basically anybody's game so far so shamim khan is well and truly still in it well you definitely cannot count uh, shamim out of it yet uh, you have a bunch of uh, tough holes coming up uh, tee shot is absolutely crucial on number 15 and the par 3 16 is another daunting hole playing at 241 yards uh, today with that flag uh, on the left half with that blowing blowing left right wind it won't be an easy hole to get the ball close to yeah but then this uh, the wind makes 15 easy though uh, with the right to left wind for the for the tee shot brilliant shot out of the bunker for um, without wasting any time and effort Sachin Bisoya Shamim assessing his uh, his shot Shamim has
שמים. looks like uh, four feet maybe less for his birdie it's a brilliant attempt out of the bunker he, he relies a lot on his caddy for his lines and they've been uh, spot on with their line reading today He, he he thought he hit it perfect and it's, it's moved the other way. He would definitely be disappointed with that. Yeah, that, that was, was like to that was to keep the distance close between him and the leader. Gaurav. So that leaves uh, this three footer, uh, two and a half three footer by Gaurav to go two shots ahead. That missed by. Uh, Shamim Khan opens the door for uh, Gaurav to extend his lead by two over Karan and Shamim. Okay. Yes, giving it all its all the uh, respect it needs. Yeah, box it in. Yeah, that's uh, that's a really crucial uh, uh, birdie for Gaurav. Extends its lead, put some breathing uh, distance between him and Shamim and uh, Karan, who's also at seven under. If you look at Gaurav's card today, um, it's been a very straightforward, easy card to write. If I was his marker, just lone bogey on the eleventh. Three birdies on the card. Yeah, this is uh, very clean. This is the iconic uh, 16th that and not a golf course, 246 yard par three, and it's playing. It's full yardage today with the wind off the left and the pin also on the left. Tough flag to get close to. Yeah, three on number 16 is, is a good score any day. Anywhere within 30, 35 feet of the hole is a, is a brilliant shot off that tee. Playing at um, its, its entire full length with wind hurting off the left. Yeah. Suits the eye for um, Honey Basoya. Yeah, Looks like he's standing right and wants to draw it in. Yeah, it's, it's the kind of shot he visualizes. Just overcooked it a bit. It's five, a couple of yards off the left edge. In fact, I mean, anywhere right of this flag is a good place to be. Would you say that? Yeah. Uh, pin's almost in the center, so. This is uh, Gaurav, this T shot on number 15. Not sure if. Uh, he needed to hit a driver in that hole because they moved the tee up a bit and the wind's from the right. Not quite sure where it ended up. He's asking his caddy. Yeah, looks like he's hit it a bit left. With the hole location on number 15 cut on the bottom left half of the green, coming off the left will be a bit of a challenge. There are a couple of trees that... Uh, Hang a little low on the left side on the 15, don't they? Yeah, I'm sure he's uh, he's going to have a little bit of tree trouble there. Karan on number 16. And uh, what a brilliant golf shot by yeah. Karan Pratap Singh on number 16. Anyway, on the green on 16 is good, and this is really close. So this could be a very um, important putt for him coming up. As far as the result of this tournament goes. Well, uh, hole number 16, when you go on the tee, uh, with the growth of the trees, it actually looks like a tunnel. 
you know, you, 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 you see like a tunnel leading up to the green. Uh, from, from the view we have, it's, it's, it looks a bit much wider, but the view that the, uh, the golfers have when they stand on the tee is much narrower. Let the record show that not a single birdie has been recorded on this 246-yard par 3 16th till now. Wonder if uh, Mr. Karan Pratap Singh is going to be the first one to break that jinx. I think uh, it's almost like deja vu. We had this. We were talking about him, uh, them talking yesterday on the same hole. Uh, Sudhir and Hani, when they played uh, yesterday, yesterday, remember? Uh, I, I think there's, there was probably hole number 18 when they were walking on to the last hole. They were discussing the wind. They were a little foxed, both of them. Yeah. Which way the wind was blowing? Getting confused. So, Sudhir has resurrected himself a bit over the last three, four holes. Definitely. Uh, he's made three birdies. I mean, uh, frankly, he's back within striking range with three holes to go. He's at six under par. He's two behind yeah, Gaurav Pratap, the leader uh, of the tournament. And he's got momentum on his side. I'm sorry, he's, he's three behind since uh, after that birdie. No, God has made a par on hole number 14. He's not made a birdie. So he probably took a penalty drop and salvaged that par from, from the left half of that jungle. Oh, that, that changes things. That changes things a bit. He hangs on to a narrow one-shot margin over Shabim mm. Khan after he missed that up and down from the bunker. So six under has a very realistic chances, a chance of, you know. I would definitely not put it aside. So like from here you can see how narrow it looks from the tee box to the green on number 16. The cloud leader at the present moment is Sanat Bishnoi with a with a total of four under, 284, three under today. Lone round in the 60s, uh, I beg your pardon, there are two rounds in the 60s today. A bogey free 68 by Jamal Hussain and a 69 by Sanit Bishnoi. Good chip, yeah. Uh, so they would be happy with that? Yeah, you know, but he would be wanting to hold it with the uh, with the score board that he can see of the of the leaders of, and he he can see that he's uh, within striking distance nevertheless let the others make the mistakes um, a par 3 on the 16th is a good score to walk off with honey with his uh, chip here Yeah, a little uh, firm-handed, had the pin out, wanted to hold it. Two players out of the second last pairing on the group have missed the green on the long path, path 3 16th. Karan Pratap Singh. This birdie here would move him for the share of second position alongside Shamim Khan and one adrift of the leader. Important putt for Karan. Has, a, has had a flurry of birdies, uh, five birdies against uh, four bogeys so far. And it's, uh, it's amazing, the lead, the lead for the tournament was eight under after the first day and it's still eight under. Eagle. And we were talking yesterday that uh, what the winning score would be, and I we, and I said uh, that ten would win. Yeah, I said uh, also it'll just about creep into double numbers. Yep. Not a golf course has a way of taking out its claws over the, the last two rounds. The wind gets you know gustier. Two factors in their pace and line. Yeah, 
it just it always looked a bit low this a uh, little more line on that part to save his power hani basoya is left with this 10 footer turning right to left yeah that's the story of his days today just near misses i can imagine how frustrated he must be the story of this hole actually it's no push over like uh, um, i would say is this more like a 3.4 hole you know uh, every group has one bogey and two pars sometimes more bogey than definitely uh, uh, i i i would say um, Uh, you know uh, arguing to what you said earlier in the day when you said um, number 3 is arguably the toughest hole i think toughest par 3 but i think uh, number 16 is the toughest par 3 on this course uh, given the conditions yeah especially when you know it, it's 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 the third last hole and and gorov has uh, found the mound on the right of the green so this is the mound which is uh, on which the 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 tomb has been constructed which is the tee box of the next hole so i'm assuming he was uh, on the left half of the fairway and he tried to somehow punch it out out into the green and the ball ran through to the right mm -hmm. and got stuck on the down slope of yeah the 16 tee box he has enough green to work with the the flag being stuck uh, bottom left that one needs to roll not 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 too bad actually you know it's it, within his favorite distance of the day you'd say you never get to practice a shot like that it's just uh, your manufacturing skills on that moment you, you never get to you know go to a side of a hill with long grass and chip onto a green so all of a sudden we have another player in the mix with a 600 with 600 total and 200 for the day is harinder gupta having birdied uh, 9 10 and 15 suddenly it's bunched up again uh, in tied third position alongside karan pratap and sudhir sharma and was, badal hussain that was such in for his birdie coming up a bit short uh, pretty uh, good effort from there though Shamim also has missed the green on the right, but uh, he's just off the green, so relatively easy chip for him. You can see the members have come out to to witness some good golf and cheer their favorite players on. Now that was uh, an effort we don't see from Shamim that often. He's normally very good from that distance. He's left himself like six, seven feet. Gorov has eight, nine feet. So suddenly, Gorov's find uh, found a bit of a breathing space. Suddenly, Badal, Sh Sudhir, Karan, Harinder all look good. Yeah. I'll have to agree with you. Badal was sent from uh, an earlier winner on the tour. self taught from bangladesh so you know his his part has uh, kept him in the game today and uh, i'm sure he's backing himself on holding this one to his uh, his uh, he's a local uh, uh, player and been very good with his line reading so far Yeah, he's done it time and again today. I told you he, yeah. th that's his favorite distance. Yeah, he's he's his putter has been his uh, 
Savior today. Going back to hole number eight, then again he hold one on nine. In hold one on seven. Hold one on seven. Uh, not sure, but then he got one on, uh, on fifteen again. Yep. So, uh, so putter, uh, putting is like almost like an insurance policy when it's not your day. If you are. Uh, have your putter going, you can actually almost get away with murder. Now, Shamim, this got a bit longer for Shamim. All of a sudden, from uh, a possible one shot swing in his favor. Yeah, he's fine himself. Looks to have lost one, lost a stroke and yeah, drifted uh, another shot behind at six under and in tied second. for second position. It's a bunch up on <laughs> on the second position. And uh, we have a new clubhouse leader in Badal Hussain turning in a card of 68. Which is uh, remarkable today with the pins and the way the, how gusty the wind has been over the back nine. So, uh, uh, fi leading group find, take, uh, finding their way to the 16th tee box, the 246-yard par 3. And uh, here we have a couple on the 18th hole. Finds himself just short of the green. Kapil is the son of a, of a former uh, professional golfer, someone we used to play uh, golf with when we were young, uh, Gastram. Harinder Gupta, who has had a brilliant back nine so far, picking up birdies on number 10 and 15, finds himself in the mix as well at 6 under par, has this up and down to save his par on the 18th. Yeah, if this finds the hole, it could be very crucial. Uh, it's a brilliant chip from there. We'll still have to wait and see uh, what Harinder made on the par 5 17th. Yeah, if, it, if it's a 4, then, then he that takes him to 7 under. Yes, and that would move him to sole second. Yeah, couple with a straightforward chip. Oh, that was, it must have looked really good to him. Yeah, a bit unlucky there. So, couple finishing with a par four on the 18th. So, Harinder Gupta, um, we're still waiting for his scorecard to be updated. Showing him at minus six in tight for second at the moment. With that drop stroke, uh, Shamim would drop, uh, drop down to tight second from sole second. And there's a bunch up of one, two, three, four, five, five players at uh, minus six. With Badal Hussain, Harinder Gupta, Karan Pratap Singh, Sudhir Sharma, and Shamim Khan with identical six under par. Yeah, it's uh, that was Manu from behind the green on 18. A little, not something we expect from him. The scores in the second position are uh, very likely to change in the over, over the course of the next uh, hour or so. So, Manu presently at five under.
might have thought he needed to hold that chip. So uh, it looks like a big bunch up at six under. With five players. Badal, Harinder, Karan, Sudhir and Shamim. Manu for his power on 18. Bit up the hill. A good save there. A PGTI Order of Merit Champion from 2022, Manu Gandas, finishing the championship at 5 under par. And this is uh, for Harinder to tie the clubhouse lead with uh, Badal at 6 under. So, I guess he knew the importance of that part. Making no mistakes in that up and down, Hadnar Gupta, multiple winner on the PGTI. So, uh, as you can see, the wind is picking up again. Uh, the trees in the background. A lot of uh, membership have come out to watch the golf today. Exciting finish with uh, Gaurav leading by two shots and a whole bunch of. Uh, uh, I mean, I won't be surprised if Harinder is actually a winner on the PGTI, and it so happened both victories were here at Noida Golf Course. Yeah. I think it was 2014 and 17, right? That's right. Yeah. Wow, this is his favorite venues, and amongst all the golfers I know on the PGTI, I would say Amar is probably. One of the better putters. Do you agree or? I do agree actually. Okay. Yeah. It so, is one of my strengths. You know, when we were thinking of who to shoot on the putting green, the first name that came to my mind was Amar. So Amar, you've got you've got the tees down, you're doing something. Yeah. Can you just explain what you're trying to work on? Uh so basically uh I was struggling with putting I would probably say about five years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when uh, you know I went to Gurbaz Man, you know, to help me out with my putting. And he he gave me very f just two drills to do and he said that just put them on repeat and uh, one of them was that uh, you know I, I had a lot of release on my left hand I, I was over releasing the putter okay so he kind of told me to uh, you know lock my left wrist and just use my shoulders mm -hmm. so this particular drill that I'm doing I basically make a gate okay and I like to use the line mm -hmm. on the putter so I put a line and I just try to putt only with my left hand. Oh, nice. I mean, I'm probably one of the best left hand putters in the country. <laughs> I'm sure you I've are. done this over five years yeah, for yeah. I know, multiple I hours. So like you can see, uh, he's got a gate made with tees, yeah. which is precisely the width of his putter. So it's from, to him to ensure that the putter, you know, hits the ball in the center, right? Yeah. And the ball is lined up. He's using it, his left hand. Probably that's why it come up a bit short. So I only use my left hand. That's the key because what it does is it locks it. It locks my left wrist, wrist, and gives them least amount of release for me, particularly. I a lot of guys that see this, they try do it, but they don't like it. But I basically try to set the putter and just use my shoulders for the putt. That's awesome. Yeah. So I think this is a really good drill, Amar. Yeah. For people who suffer from the yips. Yes, yeah. so it's it's actually yeah, brilliant. It's amazing. It's brilliant to basically have uh, putter face control. Yeah, and it teaches you how to just use your shoulders yeah, and shoulder, not cut not off your hands. all the small twitchy muscles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So Fair enough. that's what this is basically for. So this is my go-to drill. I mean, in the summer you'll find me on the putting green doing this for like hours. I try and tell myself if I can make hundred in a row, then I'm good. And, and I can uh, tell you, uh, looking at you, I think you can. <laughs> So, Shamim, uh, 
in a bit of trouble on, on number 16. Looks like he's... Uh, We've been talking about short siding. It look, looks like he might have... Yeah, it looks short like he's hit it left. So, uh, as I was talking earlier, Amit, uh, Harinder Gupta has made a birdie on number 17 and is in sole position, uh, I mean, sole second at the moment and holds the clubhouse lead at 7 under par for the championship, mm -hmm. 3 under for the day. That up and down was definitely very important for him from behind the green on, on the last hole. Yeah, and uh, Gaurav again in uh, finding himself in a little bit of trouble in the right bunker. But Gaurav is a, is, a, is a good bunker shot player, you know. Oh, what a brilliant golf shot by Gaurav Pratap Singh yeah, on hole number 16. His, uh, his bunker shots are really spectacular because I've watched him practice and I've played with him and he's textbook he's stuff right there yeah he's consistently good with from the bunker let's love have a look at that again love the way he you know releases the head the club head gets past his hands at impact always comes out soft it's, uh, with a bit of spin on it I recollect just a short while ago he and I were sitting one day and he was not very happy with his bunker shots and kept discussing him how to take the, what kind of a takeaway, uh, should it be a steeper takeaway or a flatter one? And by the looks of it, he's... He's figured it out. <laughs> he's, he's got it absolutely dialed in. Yep. Sachin Vasoya. Yeah, outside yeah. chance for buddy. Uh, three on 16, like we said earlier, is, is, is brilliant. Very good effort. Well, uh, Shamim has, uh, you know, got himself on the green from, from the left, or practically on the 17th fairway. So He's been compounding on his mistakes uh, one after the other. Shamim Khan seems to be a little rattled over the back nine with the double on the, on the water. Um, the penalty area, the hazard on uh, hole number 10, made a double bogey there and collected another five uh, owing to a three putt on number 15. Yeah, Finds himself in a tough spot again. Very uncharacteristic of him. You know, he's, uh, he's a person who doesn't hit uh, it. Uh, it's always in play. It's always, you know, just in or around. And uh, giving that much more breathing space to Gaurav who Hangs, hangs on to a one-shot lead over yeah. our clubhouse leader, Harinder Gupta. Probably after that tee shot, that ball, uh, four, uh, four is a good score from there. So that will drop him back to five under. And that, uh, that log jam got a bit thinner. Oh, actually, uh, now it's just... Uh, he, would be, he would be in sole, uh, sole sixth position. Shamim Khan after that bogey on number 16 and after that brilliant bunker shot uh, out of the right trap uh, on 16, our tournament leader. He's hanging on to a, the, a slender walks uh, on confidently one shot lead. On to hold on, on to the T on number 17. Yeah, and uh, probably a, a crucial hole for him if he can make four and give himself another Cushion playing uh, with his distance off the tee, I will not. Um, I will not discount the fact that there is a huge possibility of him making a birdie on number 17. Yeah. And uh, Gaurav has um, been playing the par fives really well. Was five under the, for the par fives yesterday and is one one under today through the three uh, first three par fives that he's played for the day. Yeah, this is uh, on the screen is uh, Abhijit Chadda on, on number 18. Playing alongside Shitaj Navit Kaul. So Shamim is dropped back to 5 under now. And uh, Abhijit. 
assessing his uh, his lie, waiting for a referee. Uh, looks like that he, he needs some kind of clarification on on the condition or on the rule. Not sure what he's waiting for. It could be uh, whether, whether his ball is in the fairway or in the first cut because we're playing preferred lie on the fairways. And it looks like it might be either in the fairway or just off. It's suddenly become a very uh, closed door contest uh, amongst the top seven players, top six players, I'd say, beg your pardon. With a bunch up on six under, there's one at seven, the clubhouse leader, Harinder Gupta and Gaurav holding on to that thin one shot margin over the rest of the field at eight under par. Well, uh, Gaurav can uh, make life for himself much much more easier if he can birdie, somehow find a way of birding 17 today. It's it's very much reachable for him. Well, uh, the gallery eagerly waiting to see the, the, the leader group off on number 17. A sudden change of events. Um, Shamim, who was well within striking distance of uh, Gaurav Pratap Singh, has made back to back bogeys on number 15 and 16, dropping down to 5 under par for the championship and in lone sixth position. Another change on the leaderboard, Karan Pratap, after having birdied uh, the par 5 17th, is also at 7 under and in tied for second position with one hole to play. It's going to be very interesting coming down the stretch. Yeah. I guess it's, uh, it's all in Gaurav's hand now. Uh, if he can hold on to his uh, nerves and Finish strong. The spectators are getting exactly what they came in, came here to see. Yeah, and so, so is the viewership. You know, it's uh, close contest. Yeah, it's like uh, an IPL meeting, 18 runs off the last over. Another information for for our viewers who have joined in late. The fifth edition of the Delhi NCR Open. 2023 here at the Noida Golf Course carries a price purse of one crore, which has been more than doubled in the from the last edition. The winner's check will be a hefty 15 lakh rupees. Just a matter of half an hour from now to see who walks away with that. Uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you never know. You know, it could, there could be a playoff with so many people. Uh, now that Karan has joined uh, Harinder at seven, uh, golf is a funny game. Uh, hopefully, uh, Gaurav keeps his wits about himself and uh, closes this one out. Out of the season ones, uh, Harinder has a few victories under his belt. Karan is still to break through the through the jinx. And you know, the way Karan has played the last few holes, uh, you, couldn't, you wouldn't put a birdie on 18 past him. He likes to move the ball left to right. Um, so hitting that tee shot uh, and placing it on the right half of the fairway will not be a problem for Karan. He would definitely have a, have a go at this flag. Abhijit uh, sizing up his uh, birdie part on number 18. This is uh, a bit downhill, left to right. After a couple of mistakes uh, early in the game, Abhijit Singh Chadha has managed to claw his way back with a birdie on the back nine to where he started the day at minus four, even par for the, for, uh, even par for the day and minus four for the tournament. Yeah, this will uh, make lunch taste that much better if he gets it. Looks 
like he's put a good oh that was uh, that must have looked really good to him definitely looked on the great higher Jones. side good speed We were having a. Uh, we had a bit of a discussion. We were trying to figure out whether uh, uh, Abhijit Singh Chadha's ball was moving right to left or left to right. And we have a wage on it now. Anyway, Interesting. That was, um, good, that was a good putt from Abhijit. It had, had the right speed, probably uh, got a bit. Uh, Just a little more speed, probably um, could have done the trick. So, uh, the scenario has uh, changed considerably in the last hour or so. You know, it, 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 it always looked like a two-man, two-horse race with, between Shamim and uh, Gaurav has uh, has disappeared, and now there's Harinder and Karan and Gaurav in the in the run. And uh, well, uh, Sudhir with a birdie could also, you know, come in the mix. You, you never know. We'll just have to wait and see where uh, Gaurav Pratap's drive has landed up on hole number 17. Does he have a realistic chance of making a four and extending that lead by two over the duo of Harinder Gupta and Karan Pratap Singh? Karan, who's been clicking close on Gaurav's heels, needs to birdie the last to make Gaurav sweat. There you have the leaderboard uh, in front of you, ladies and gentlemen. Gaurav hold, holds on to a very narrow one-shot margin over Harinder Gupta and Karan Pratap. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a close call now. This tournament was cut down to 63 holes um, owing to incessant rains on the first day. They could only play nine. And we are back live. That was Sudhir hitting a second shot on number 18. I think he's left himself a straight foot, uh, a straight 10-footer uh, uphill for a birdie on the last. That should change things for Sudhir as well. He's at 600 at the moment. If he birdies the last, he moves on to tied for second. That's number three, is it? Yeah, you hold 
big button. Number 18. And we are back live on hole number 18. This might prove to be a big chip for uh, our first day leader, Sudhir Sharma. If he chips this in, he moves on to 7 under for the championship and 1 under for the day. Oh my! That should well definitely done. change things and what a brilliant chip by Sudhir Sharma. To, you what know, a, I was talking to him about his chipping on, uh, on day three and he, I said, Sudhir, how do you rate your chipping? He says, uh, he called me Bhaiya. He said, Bhaiya, it's, it's the, probably the best part of my game right now. And it's, he's just proven it. That fell in absolutely perfect. What a time to chip in. So he's, um, he could only manage a par five on the 17th had that been a birdie would have been uh, things would have been a little different what a brilliant show by Sudhir Sharma our first day leader yeah so that moves him in, into uh, tight for second yeah alongside Karan Pratap Singh and Harinder Gupta Hani Basoya That's the story of Honey today. It's just had a lot of near misses. Honey's had a very topsy turvy back nine, picking up five bogeys and a, against a solitary birdie on the 17. Three over for the day and three under for the championship. Not sure what this putt is for, whether it's for par or birdie, current on the last hole. I won't be surprised if he's there for a birdie. Seems happy with his round. Yeah, it looks like he, he birdied the last hole. If he has, then we probably have a tie. We'll get to know about it very shortly. Youngster has got his golf ball for the week. So that's uh, that brings uh, Karan Pratap to eight under. Oh, we definitely have uh, a tie for lead on top of the board. Gaurav Pratap Singh 
after 16 holes at 8 under. Karan Pratap Singh finishing with a birdie, birdie, 4 and 3 over the last two holes to move into tight for the lead and the leader in the clubhouse with a closing 69. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure what's transpiring with uh, Gaurav right now, but uh, Gaurav, we have Gaurav at 8 under after, after, after 16. 16. He's just waiting for the live feed to come back from Gaurav. Nardag, of course, uh, has always played very good host to all the professional golfers. They open up all their uh, facilities to the pros when they come to play. Uh, probably. Uh, most pros find this the most hospitable venue. Uh, definitely, if it was not um, up to the golf courses uh, to welcome the pros with open arms, Indian golf would have been languishing in the doldrums. Uh, our Final group has made its way onto the uh, 17th green, or rather 18th tee box. Still waiting for an official update on what transpired on the par 5 17th. If Gaurav Pratap Singh would enjoy that one shot cushion. over uh, Karan Pratap Singh. Looks like uh, Gaurav is making his way to the tee box first. So the honor on the tee might give us an indication of what happened on that hole. The So, waiting for the leaders to tee off on the last hole now. So, Gaurav still has the honor, so uh, probably the worst case uh, for him would be par. So, that uh, clearly tells you the picture um, if he's hanging on to the honor. If he hasn't made a birdie, then it's definitely a par. Looks like a fairway metal in his hand. Yeah, he likes to hit three wood off this tee without wasting any time. Not sure where that ball went. Sachin. Also electing a fairway metal. So, not sure whether I'm reading this correctly, but there's a bit of an update here which uh, surprises me a little uh, with. Karan Pratap Singh and Sudhir Sharma both finishing eagle birdie to be tied in the clubhouse at 9 under par. And all of a sudden, Gaurav Pratap Singh finds himself one shot adrift of the lead. So the clubhouse lead at the moment shows at minus 9 yep. between Karan Pratap Singh and Sudhir Sharma. Well, that's uh, that's very surprising. 
Sujit are brilliant, 31 from the looks of it. And that too yeah. in the last, uh, oh, so I was right, this, there was a bit of a glitch there. Yeah. So, no, no, it's been, rec it's been corrected now. It's, uh, Karan has finished at 8. Gaurav made par on 17, remains at 8. Harinder and Sudhir have finished on 7. So, uh, we have a so joint a lead with, uh, bit with uh, Karan Pratap Singh and Gaurav Pratap Singh. Our new clubhouse leader, Karan, finishing with a birdie birdie. With yeah. 69 on his card and a championship total of minus 8. And remember him making that bogey on the first hole. Uh, that the on that easy on the easy par five first, uh, being having having hit the center of the fairway, and uh, you know clawing his way back, and then again in the middle of the of the round making two bogeys in the from between between nine and eleven, and then finishing uh, finishing with a very solid birdie birdie over the seventeenth and the eighteenth of the last round of this championship. So, uh, things are poised. Uh, looks like we might go into extra time. We just have to wait and see where Gaurav Pratap has landed up with his tee shot on the final hole of this tournament. The final pairing, walking up to their second shots. Yeah, Gaurav's walking on the left side, so I'm presuming he's hit it, uh, he's, uh, hit it a bit left. Sure, if he can make it to the hazard with a three word, but if he, um, um, by the looks of it, uh, God of um, all of a sudden, I find his shoulders uh, dropping down a bit. I don't know where that ball is finished. Yeah, he's, uh, he's walking on the left side of the fairway, and there's a there's a penalty zone on the left side in case you do pull your tee short and hit it in a, in excess of 280 yards. You uh, the ball will find that penalty zone. What a brilliant run uh, our first day leader Sudhi Sharma has had in the last six holes, birding 13, 14, 15 and 18. And you know, I remember I was saying in the middle of the round we need we need a spark for Sudhi to spark him up and I guess uh, I could have asked for anything else also. <laughs> Again, I think he heard you there. Yeah. Oh, Gaurav seems to have hit a tree and, you know, uh, come back in the fairway, end, but he's, uh, he's quite a way, far way back. Not sure if he's in the fairway, though. And with the, win, uh, with the pin on the left, just over the bunker, it's probably... So, so, so the flag definitely looks inaccessible from where he lies. Yeah. He actually, from this... Uh, from where he stands, he might not be able to see it also with all the trees in the way. And he has to hit it over the trees. The wind's off the, off the left. So left to right wind, left pin position. How he would be looking to uh, hit anywhere on the front edge of the right side? Yeah, if he can just get the ball uh, starting uh, somewhere in the line of the flag and just uh, finishing anywhere on the right, that'll be okay. He can still make a long putt and win. Yeah, but you know. By the looks of it, I think we are definitely going into extra time. He's, um, from what it looks like, has pulled out a long iron. Yeah, he's he's got about 170, 75 to the flag from from the looks of it. From from that mound that he's standing on, it's that would be the prob the the yardage. And, uh, but the wind is uh, is the the factor there because it's blowing left to right and he likes to move it left to right. So uh, looks like he might have found the green because he's got a putter in his hand. That would be one hell of a shot approach shot from there. Yeah, yeah, got a bit lucky. With anywhere, anywhere on the green is good. 
Yeah, got a bit uh, lucky break with the tree coming, the ball coming back in the fairway, and then uh, I still have to make a uh, hit, make a good swing. And so it looks like uh, we might be heading into extra time here in, at the Noida Golf Course. We've had a couple of 69s today f by Karan Pratap Singh and Harinder Gupta. That was Sachin hitting his second shot. Uh, got a little extra release. Might be coming from the first cut. The low score of the day. Definitely goes to the two Bangladeshis in the fray, Badal Hussain and Jamal Hussain, both carding in an identical 68. Yeah. A good pin for Sachin, though. Uh, he likes to draw it. That wind, he can actually almost aim it straight at the flag. Wonder why it released that much, though. So you're just uh, waiting for uh, to see where Gaurav's ball is finished up. Our co-leader of the tournament walking up to the 18th. He had his putter in his hand, but now he doesn't seem to have anything in his hand. So not sure if, he, if he's on the green. Two local lads in the top four, Gaurav Pratap Singh and Sudhir Sharma. Waving out to the referee. Gaurav needs a little of uh, a bit of clarification with the ruling. Probably uh, try to deter determine his uh, preferred lie with his uh, whether he can come closer to the green. Good to see so many people out uh, to watch the golf. A lot of youngsters. A great learning experience for all of them, you know, seeing uh, pros uh, playing under pressure, handling pressure, and looking at their uh, role models. Uh, the future champions are standing in these galleries, ladies and gentlemen. Shamim. Uh, from the green side bunker. Yeah, it, Not quite the result that he was looking for. Yeah, after, after you know, probably the, the, the small putt on 14, you know. Uh, don't expect Shamim to, to miss from that distance. So, Gaurav is uh, not on the green, but just, just short of it. Definitely a place where he'll use his putter from. It's a straight uphill um, chip or a putt from there, right? Yep. Do you think it's going to do much? Uh, do you think it's going to move uh, a fraction off the left or is it going to stay straight? You know, there's a there's small uh, mound which he's to come over as soon as he putts. So that's going to throw the ball a bit to the left. Okay. But not sure how much it's going to break once it gets over that hill. Okay. Probably, uh, if anybody knows the line from there, Gaurav does. He's, he's a regular here. This is his home course, so line line reading on this golf course is uh, not a problem for him. Sachin uh, for birdie, uh, probably about 30, 35 feet away. Not uh, downhill, but not uh, not fast. Yeah, give it a good hit. Yeah, maybe a little too much there. 
very long birdie attempt for Sachin. One of our recent winners on the PGTI, you first know, time winner. Uh, seeing golf in India, the calories in the early 90s when we used to play used to be, you know, there used to be a lot of blacks and grays and whites and browns and there's so much of color in the gallery now, you know, everybody. Uh, the the apparel uh, uh, apparel in golf has become brighter and brighter over the bright, years. Yes. So, got up with his uh, birdie attempt on 18. This Not just the birdie in. attempt. I think it's it, this is his putt to win. Yeah, this goes in. He wins for an outright win. He's hit it hard enough. Oh, oh that was a narrow miss. That so we are definitely going into extra time. And I'm told we, are, we will play hole number 18 as the first sudden death hole. Yeah, you know, Gaurav has held his nerves uh, this today you know he's had his uh, trying moments which he's uh, come on top of so he's shown a lot of grit today uh, as far as his, uh, his this his golf is concerned he's uh, he's hung in there he's made a few crucial parts uh, Shamim, Shamim Khan is left with that to wrap up his uh, four days of play Coming out of the bunker, not quite the result that he was looking for. I think that missed birdie on 14. Could have changed the tide for yeah, him. Yeah, it was probably a, a momentum breaker for him. It's uh, Shamim doesn't miss from that close. Quite possibly. Yeah. He tripped the next and made a double on 16. Yeah, you know, three parts. You don't never heard Simeon three parts actually. Such an uh, with an eight foot of a par here. He's seen uh, Gaurav's ball, so he has a good idea of what the ball's going to do. Yeah, good part. Never a doubt. Sorry. Not the day he wanted, but you know, uh, holding a eight foot on the last hole for par makes uh, uh, tries to instill that confidence back in you. Yeah, and even lunch this better after that. You know, you said okay. okay. Shamim tidying up here. It could, it was, uh, he was always there till the end, till the, till number fifteen, and then he somehow uh, the fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen derailed him. At the end of uh, sixty-three holes, and uh, on the fourth day, the tournament having been chopped down to sixty-three. We have a tie between Karan Pratap Singh and Gaurav Pratap Singh, who will be going into extra time. Yeah. Uh. Very shortly, you'll see the players heading back towards the 18th tee box. They'll keep playing till they have an eventual winner. So we have uh, our tournament director, our uh, commissioner, Uttam. With our new uh, first ever tournament uh, referee assignment, uh, Sujit, on the screen there.
is a seven year veteran on the PGTI, <laughs> national champion in 2014, right? Yeah. yeah. And also uh, a couple of top tens from what I know on the PGTI. So, yeah. Tishul, I've seen you around. It's been a long journey for you and you've been consistent. So, tell us what you are working on your game these days to keep your, get yourself better or, or stay more competitive as, as people say. It's been a lot of learning. Um, I'm far, far from where I want to be. But again, extremely grateful for how I've been able to develop myself and uh, mature my, I think my game has a lot more uh, um, I think I'm, I'm way more equipped today to, to take on golf courses and, and the, the amount of skill that I have uh, within the game is, is amazing. Um, and I think it all, it's all the credit to the work that I've put in over time with my team. So, so what are you working on these days? Um, I think I'm just trying to keep things as simple as I can. I've, I've been very athletic growing up. I've played a lot of sport. Uh, for a while I was very caught up on how perfect I need to be and I think that's a tendency that I have. I try and get perfect about things but I think this game is uh, can be endlessly complicated and and as simple as you make it uh, so off late I've, I've just a few things that I've really learned is that you know regardless of what really happens beyond the waste it's everything within the V that truly counts uh, impact um, how the club it's mostly club face control a particular drill that I'm working on well, on right now I don't yet have a have a name for this uh, <laughs> for this training aid, yeah. but uh, yeah, one sec. But it does um, help me stay connected, like like you spoke. And I hit so many golf shots; just it's almost like a half sh half shot. So oh, you set it at the right length, also. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I hit a lot of shots, just. Just hitting half shots. Um, I think the idea is to, you know, it, a lot of people think that it's easier to hit half shots, but I truly believe that if you can master the smaller shots with your longer irons or your mid irons, then adding speed is is easy. easy. I've always been able to swing it faster. And, and actually, you know, you have less time to do what you need to do also. Yeah. So so if you get very good at the half shot, then then the full shot is just an extension of it. Looks connected. Yeah. 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 And yeah. and I definitely have been struggling with this a little bit, which is why I have have the tool with yeah, me. I think it's but uh, which is, uh, I love to have something to work towards. We're here with Dipankar Koshal. He's a professional golfer on the PGTI. This is his home golf course, and we're here to get into the mind of Dipankar and find out what makes Dipankar click and play golf. On the PGTI. So, the Pumpkar, welcome to the PGTI show. So, first question, you know, something which always intrigues me about why, when, and what made you start playing golf? So, it's like a funny story. Firstly, I started at a very late age. I was 21 when okay. I first held the club. I used to always think as a layman, as an old man's game, what is golf? Nothing, you know, like that. Until unless one, once my dad got me to Noida Golf Course, he was a member here. He also just started that time, just two, three years into the game. So he just told me, why don't you try this? And I used to play very good cricket. At that time, cricket had uh, no career, you know, the politics in cricket and also I used to play really good cricket. But then my dad said, why don't you give it a try? And it was a tough sport, I realized, you know, it's not easy, but I picked up really well then. So that's how I started the game. Who propels you, you know, where's, where's your driving force coming from? One is, once is my dad, he's always uh, after me and backing me and he supports me like anything. And secondly, I, when I started watching all, obviously Tiger is so everyone.
just that just uh, they must have drawn a lot and decided who uh, they they would have picked up a chit on who to go first appears yeah. like karan pratap singh was the first to tee off yeah karan uh, looks it looked like he put a really good swing on that shot on that uh, shot not sure where it ended up uh got of uh, probably had a m memory from the last uh, tee shot he hit with his three wood which hit the tree on the left so he you know opted that's to that's probably uh, what prompted him to yeah pluck out the iron you know it's such a mental game you if you you rather you know take a defensive uh, uh choice of the tee and then make a more aggressive swing than vice versa yeah but uh it is not a very long hole so it's just about 430 yards so even after a long iron won't have more than a maybe playing just a sh just a little tad bit shy of the entire length of the hole with that flag tucked in on the left side seven on and five from the left yes yeah, so tough flag to get to with that wind blowing left to right we'll just have to wait and see how these two players go about their job Um, with both of them walking uh, towards the right half of the fairway i would assume uh, that's that's the line of play they've taken yeah at least uh, uh, you know after with gorov hitting a long iron of the tee uh, coming from the from the center also would make uh, the second shot tougher so uh, probably the right side of the, of the fairway after a long iron you still have a it's it's a it's a more comfortable shot uh, to the eye in your galleries uh, sorry in uh, on your tv screens uh, is is the huge gallery that has come out to witness this playoff between gaurav and karan yeah and uh, uh it's a lot of uh, i would say Karan uh, seems to have uh, also hit a fair amount of the tee. Uh, placed uh, interesting turn of events for uh, going in favor of Karan over the last few closing holes, birding 17 and 18. Yeah, so relatively uh, probably this almost the same uh, distance from the hole remaining for both players. Uh, not sure if uh, Gorov's on the fairway or on the first cut. That uh, we'll get to know in a bit. But uh, uh, Karan has a good memory of this hole. He's just hit it uh, mid birdie and uh, to finish at eight under, and he's actually birdied his last two holes. So he's he's on a high. good good rhythm in its swing karan and uh, lanky uh, so far shown great poise probably about a 9 or a 8 iron without wasting any time it's a matter of nerves from here on the uh, pretty much a match play situation one against one yeah and golf's in the fairway which is a huge thing because now you can take a preferred lie and you know uh, and currents uh, probably uh, hit a shot uh, probably one of the uh, he's further he's been from the hole the whole day Could have been, uh, might have been between shots. Looks like it's half a club shot also. Adi, bit of his work uh, cut out there. Uh, leaves the door wide open for Gorov. You know, I've noticed uh, playing over the years. Uh, at times, uh, a certain hole becomes, uh, you know, starts suiting your eye, and you, you um, tend to like the way that the hole is placed. 
Karan, I just noticed, has birdied the sixth hole every single day of the tournament. And it is one of the toughest holes on the course. So there, everybody's clapping. We just have to wait and see where. Yeah, it's uh, pin high, uh, 18, 18 feet. And uh, so I would say advantage Gaurav Pratap right now. And Gaurav has uh, gone on to birdie the first hole all four days and has uh, a birdie and an eagle in the three attempts that he's played the 14th on. Mm -hmm. so and a good par today. You know, he was, uh, he was stuck in the jungle. He, uh, he Remember the, uh, the miraculous shot he hit when he hooked it around the trees? I think that, was, uh, that, that probably would be... He could definitely, if he goes on to pick up the trophy, he would definitely have to credit uh, his victory on, on that par save on number 14. Absolutely. It's good to see so many uh, golfers out to watch the golf. Uh, Noida, go Noida Golf Course uh, is one of the venues where it's the golf course is in the center of town, unlike most golf courses in, in, in our country real estate being uh, so uh, expensive so to it's 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 a venue where people it's very accessible to people to come and watch and it's good to see that so many have come out amongst these two players the lesser experienced uh, is definitely Karan a very young uh, 22 year old from Faridabad still hungry and looking for that first breakthrough victory whereas uh, for uh, Gaurav Pratap Singh his sole victory on the main tour has come in 2009, 14 years ago, very much on this golf course. Apart from that, he's got two victories on the feeder tour. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's, it's been a long time since he's won, so it's, it's probably uh, weighing on his shoulders also that, uh, you know, it's these questions he's keep coming back to, you know. You must be knowing it. After you win the first one, the second one is probably... I think the second is always the toughest, uh, the yeah. tougher one to win just to instill that confidence in you that you can do it again. Yeah. So, and uh, Gaurav puts a lot of work into his, into his golf. Um, he's very dedicated in his profession. So does Karan. In fact, he used to uh, practice uh, at Golden Greens. That's where I practice. And I've seen this boy just keep at, uh, at his game from morning till evening. Very hardworking, very diligent, doesn't waste any time doesn't while away time, keeps to himself. I guess you know, the recipe is the same. Uh, it's just discipline and uh, dedication and absolutely yeah, hard work and you know. There's no alternative to hard yeah, work. There's, um, there's, uh, for, for the young youngsters who are watching this telecast, there's no easy way. You gotta, you gotta put in the time Shape up or ship out? Well, otherwise, otherwise golf will, uh, will teach you that. You know, you know, if, if, if the moment you slack, it will teach you how to, it will show you that uh, you can't do that. There's this term we l use in skydiving. You plan the jump and you, then you go on to jump the plan. It's pretty much uh, what you do in golf. So you, you practice the way you want to play golf and then you go and play the way you've practiced. Yeah. Practice like you play and play like you practice. So basically, the more work you put in and practice and uh, the easier play gets. So the more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. Yeah, and you know, uh, uh, this whole exercise of getting better is... is, is, is it's not comfortable. It's always uh, it's we call it the effort zone where you have to put more effort to get better. So, uh, for for the youngsters or people who want to get better at golf, there's no shortcuts. You need to put in the work and you know uh, find yourself a, a a coach you can trust and then just go at it. Back in the day, I remember when Ivan Lendl was on top of his game. Uh, he used to say, "I'm one percent." Um, so Talent yeah. and 99% perspiration. Yeah. So Gaurav, for his birdie attempt. For the championship. Okay. I'd say that that's a 
fantastic effort from Gaur Pratap Singh. Not sure how far Karan hit his butt. So that's uh, four, and uh, I guess Karan has the putt to uh, keep the match alive. The way Karan has gone over the last, uh, over the back nine, I think we are going into another extra hole. But it looks like he's hit it a fair bit past. About uh, five, five or six feet by. A little more than that, actually. Definitely has his work cut out, but uh, look at the number of birdies he's put on his card. He's got seven on his card. So definitely the putter has worked in his favor. But the good thing is he's hit it past the hole and he's seen the way the ball has turned. But he knows how, yeah. it's, how it's going to react so on his way, yeah, way back. He's gonna, he knows how it's going to come on the way back. So uh, probably the biggest part of his young career uh, so far. And the spectators waiting with abated breath. So are we actually. Uh, not to be. Okay. That uh, not the way uh, Karan would have planned to make a. Uh, there is wife sword. running up. Uh, but uh, brilliant victory by Gaurav. Uh, it's been a long time. He's waited a long time. He's put a lot of work in. Yeah. Hearties, congratulations to the young man from Noida Golf Course, Gaurav Pratap Singh, with victory number two in the bag. So. Uh, uh, we started the first round with the lead, with the lead at eight under, and we, after four rounds, it remained at eight under. So it shows that uh, absolutely moving back into the winner's circle. The golf course uh, played tough over the, this, the last three days. It's all about Gaurav Pratap Singh at the moment. His wife coming in at, uh, with his daughter, and his mother moving in to congratulate him. Yeah, and he's got a lot of local support out here. He's 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 a very amicable person and. Uh, a uh, lot of people will, uh, have rooted for him this week. Just to give you an update on the top 10, Gaurav Pratap Singh winning this fifth edition of the Delhi NCR Open 2023 in a sudden death playoff over Karan Pratap Singh. Finishing closely behind in tied third position is Harinder Gupta and Sudhir Sharma. In lone fifth position with a 68 on the final day is Badal Hussain from Bangladesh. Tied for sixth position is Sanit Bishnoi, Manu Gandas at identical scores of four under par. Amardeep Malik, Abhijit Singh Chadda, and Hani Bisoya coming in on tied eighth at minus three, bringing up the top ten. From the studios here in Noida Golf Course, this is Dig Vijay Singh signing off. And this is Amit Dube signing off.
I would now request Mr. Simran Singh and Dr. Stephen Melodis to jointly give away the winner's check of the Rs. 50 lakh to the champion Gaurav Pratap Singh. And in a long way for that title, the swagger is back for the Gaurav Pratap Singh. I now request the champion Gaurav to kindly address the gathering. Members of the club, Mr. Harish Sharma and his team for the golf course, 
Mr. Sanjay Mishra, I need your MVP for all their support. All the fans, referees and officials, and of course our four partners, Rolex, Tata Steel, American Express, Amutanjan, Tutti, Electro Plus, and God Plus Company. Thank you, and see you all next year. Jai Hind.